All right. And we are both live. <laughs> Flashpoint returns. Ivantis, I missed you, man. What's going on? Uh, well, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. Uh, we'll have lots to talk about. The world of Destiny keeps changing, which I'm loving the fact that it actually continues to evolve. Mm-hmm. Um, so much good stuff going on. Um, we got potential nerf changes to quests. The raid is out in the wild. Changes to the Dreaming City. Mm. And just the whole grind continues. Bad RNG on my end, but there's only so much you can do. You ain't the only one, trust me. You ain't the only one. I know that, I know that pain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you? How's your week been? Or two, I should say. Yeah, man. Um, I definitely, you know, it's been it's been a funny thing because I'm, this is when I know Destiny is good. Like, I'm not getting much sleep every, every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I just got to be brutally honest. Like, I am literally averaging maybe three to four hours because even though it's a hardcore grind, it's enjoyable to me. And I'm having so much fun with it. So, you know, I just like, yo, I don't want to stop playing. Damn, I, I got to go to bed. Like, I need to go to bed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I just oh, don't yeah. want to stop playing. Like, and this is just a continued downward spiral of lack of sleep. Because oh, destiny. It's awful. Because, like, yeah. I'll work, like, I'm my early morning shift on Tuesday. Then I'll come home, do my videos, play for a while then. But then I don't work Wednesday till the evening. So mm-hmm. I don't have to go to sleep. But I get up at, like, 4 o'clock to go to work in the morning. And then yeah. I end up going to sleep at like midnight. So I'm up for like mm-hmm. 20 hours that day. And then I kind of got to reset, go over. So I'm like, I kind of, I don't quite have your level of uh vampire, <laughs> but mine's just like my middle of the week is a mess right now. So, but as you said, it's with good reason. Cause I don't want to stop. There's always something to grind. There's another match to play. There's always something to do. And it's like, I cannot stop. Cannot stop. And then you, you, you can't throw stop. That. Won't stop. <laughs> can't stop. Won't stop. Talk about it. <laughs> and it's like, you know what it is? It's like, you can't stop because also now with the powerful gear, when you see that gold icon on the map, you're like, hold on, I didn't do something. Yep. Oh man, I got to play three game but match. All right, boom. Man. Then you start getting it. Then you start combining goals and bounties and things together. Well, I can knock out these two if I do this activity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I can do this. It's just so much. It's always like the reset is almost daunting now in it's, a way. Yeah, it's a lot, man. <laughs> it's a lot to do, right? It's just, so oh, you got, man. you got three Gambit matches, five Crucible matches, three mm-hmm. story missions, three yes. strikes, a Nightfall yes. that you can do a little yes. later. Then you look at Dreaming City, Tangled mm-hmm. Shore Bounty. I'm yes. just like, damn. <laughs> and, and then you throw that now with the daily, because you don't want to miss the daily. Oh, yeah. Right? Can't miss the daily. You can't, can't miss that pop. reset. Yep. Exactly. Then you throw that, and here's my big thing spider because we all know masterwork cars right now it's hard to get in these streets oh my god <laughs> so i I'm definitely something is, we'll I talk to, about <laughs> yeah i go to spider when the price of the the price of the drugs go down i'm like okay you, you act, you're not out of your mind right now i can get you for t- for 10 cores right now. Like, it's literally once a day he's like it's you know kind of like an etch a sketchy resets but outside of that it's just <laughs> redonkulous dude it's so bad <laughs> Yo, because you know, you know, he out here raising the prices up if you buy too much from him. So once he gets out of control, I'm like, look, you're acting up right now. I'm going to see you at one o'clock Eastern when you get back to normal and your prices get back to normal. <laughs> so it's funny, man. Like, yeah, it's, it's just that's when you know. I mean, two, more, two more signs. One, when you're not getting any sleep. Destiny's good. Yep. Two, when it's a full time job. Destiny's <laughs> good. Yeah. Three, seriously. when you're fighting with your friends. Destiny's good. Oh, that's a whole <laughs> different topic we'll get into later of like We're kicking your friends whole lines. <laughs> like uh you're about to end friendships on some things. Bro. <laughs> that's when Destiny's back. <laughs> you're like, hey, we friends, we not. I'm not sure at the moment where I stand with my friends. All right, sweet. <laughs> you facts. <laughs> I had to have a three separate thoughts. <laughs> You're like, all right, I gotta sit you down. Through. We gotta do our one on ones. <laughs> yeah, get into it. So, all right, guys, um, ridiculous intros out of the way. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, the raid has come out. We're gonna discuss what we can. I have not jumped in. Uh, we'll get to the other side of what happened with you. Um, <laughs> we've got some changes that are potentially looks like they're coming towards Sleeper in some way yet. Not sure. Ace of Spades quest changes. Infusion is gonna be a topic for sure. Light level, I do want to bring up as well. So we've got a lot to talk about. Um, where do you want to start? Because I'm honestly fairly open. Man, it's so much. Um, I want to get into 
I want to get into. I have questions for you, actually, because I talked to it. <laughs> so I want to get into. I, I had this brief discussion with a few of my clanmates. Shout out to my man Reaper in the chat right now. Chris Cobra Elite in the chat. The regulars. That's what's up, man. It's good to see y'all. Um, what it is is like. I know it's early, right? We 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 only go. What are we? One week full? Two weeks? In? What are we? What are we? This is our third. We're on week three of Forsaken, and it's Friday, so two and a half weeks. Yeah, like two and a half weeks, right? Yeah. So I had this uh, discussion at first with Addict, and um, I had a, a couple with all the couple clanmates, and I need to ask you. Okay, let's start with DLC, Forsaken DLC. The raid has released. We've gone through the campaign. They you know, it. we have. You know, <laughs> we still. It seems to be still more to do. The Dreaming oh, City is yeah. evolving. Which is right, awesome. so we can't say it's complete. But at this point, if I had to put a gun in your head at this point, again, you know, I'm giving you an excuse. I'm giving you the out. That is at this point, you can change your vote at another time. Yeah, I understand. Where do you rank Forsaken? Uh, for in expansions. In expansion, 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 and prior to that, what was? So let's just start with prior to that. What was the golden expansion? Taken, for taken you? King, without a question. Exactly. Yeah, right? and now. Honestly, this top talk, to, talk to me. This is better. Um, <laughs> it, it doesn't it feel weird to say that, though. No, no not after playing it. It doesn't. <laughs> no, literally. As soon as you jump in, you play the story. You see what the raid's doing. The evolution of the second entire city that we get. The fact that I can use my sparrow on both is just tells you the size of the scale of things. Yes. The um, the triumphs are a thing that's cool to have in there. The lore is actually stuck in the game. Um, I mean, random rolls are back, and those were in D1 and were there, but we've also got quests that they kind of brought back with Taken King. So things that weren't Taken King um, were all there, and then they added so much more personally on top. Now, is it perfect? No. I'd say 9. Just I mean, IGN gave it a 9, and honestly, I'd say it's a mm-hmm. oh, damn awesome expansion, but yeah. perfect? No. Nothing is. No, and yeah, there's I, good picks. You know, can... Qualms and mostly it's economies, really, is my issue. But um, overall, yeah, freaking awesome. Yeah, man, I'm I'm with you on that, and I think, again, Taken King is that pinnacle for me. It's such a, a place. It was a triumphant place for me, right? And um, you know, because the the diehards we stuck through D1, and we you know we rocked out. <laughs> He's yo, Chris Cove is funny. So remember getting exotic pepperidge farms. Remember, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Good old so yeah, exotic ride is real. That's a, that's a, we can make that a little nitpick. You know what I mean? But I personally like it. Me and he, I think. Oh no, it. when I actually drop some, holy crap, what I get. Yeah, you're really excited. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The only thing now is I just wish, you know, it'd be newer exotics, but that's nothing. Yeah, but, I haven't uh, had much luck on the new I stuff. I haven't had much success on any of the new stuff. But, um, yeah, man, so it's like I was looking at it, and I'm like, all right, I remember the time period. I remember Taken King, that triumph for a moment. The Destiny fans could put their chest out and say, look, this is what our game can become, right? This is how great it is. And I'm playing this thing, and I'm like, from the Cade thing, the narrative, to the Barons, Aldrin, it doesn't resolve. And, you know, you get to the raid, which we're going to touch in deep on my next question to you. But I'm like, already, man, it's it's a, it just surpasses it in in a lot of different forums and in a, in a lot of different categories, and I'm like, wow, like is this the am I say Forsaken is already the greatest Destiny expansion, and I gotta say yeah, yes. I think it's pretty easy to say that personally. Yeah, it's question two, which okay. is the second part, which is <laughs> the raid <laughs> for you, and um, I know you haven't jumped in yet. You know, I know but, I was like, I've watched a lot on it. You though. watched a lot. We've a lot. I'm assuming we were both texting during the whole world's first, I believe. Oh, yeah. Right. That whole thing. Yeah. So from what you've seen, you know, I know you haven't played, but from what you've seen and you've seen a lot, you know, where is that looking? Where is where you ranking with that? And then let's again, let's set up question. What what did you have prior as your number one raid? If anything changes, but I just want to know, like before does does last wish change anything and what was your greatest rate before that oh, greatest rate is always torn for me between vault and uh king's fall yes always between those for me uh sivu was cool it was one of the ones where i really kind of worked on trying to do some stuff like blind so it's kind of a really cool experience for me yes, i got me to too. i think the siege engine is about where we got yes. to awesome. um but generally those were two in the top and for different reasons first mm-hmm. console raid it was like the first time in world of warcraft i did um Molten Core. I mean, you got 40 Ooh. people in there. You're working together. You're going through. There's 10 bosses in there. And literally, you're working for, like, hours to take down the first boss because that's the only one you're equipped enough to take down. So, I mean, I've come mm-hmm. from that type of background. 
um, mm -hmm. played stuff off and on where it's bigger groups going through more difficult things. The fact that two groups finished this thing, I loved it. Yeah. I absolutely love that because, I mean, some of it was just mechanics because the vault for everybody was like, I, I don't know if the, the group who got there early, it was like Ninji or whoever. I don't know if they guessed and got lucky because later on then people figured it out and kind of joined them. Mm -hmm. um, but it is really mechanics heavy. But first off, I will say it's not Leviathan where it's, it's a progression. And mm -hmm. I don't, are there checkpoints I actually haven't checked? Um, like as if, far as in the raid, Like yes. if you do two bosses and you go back in, you're still at the same spot you left. Yeah, because I, I, yeah. we got to the second one and we came back, I, I jumped back into it, it was right at that spot. Okay, so, I mean, that's the thing that's back to you, not like, okay, I always have to fight this initial part, blah, blah, blah. Like, so, I mean, that's the way a raid should be. It should have that progression. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. fact that it connected to the story so well is like, okay, so here's this stuff. Here's the Dreaming City. The whole different world out there. The taken yeah. over. The things that happened after the raid was done. Like, oh. all the the way this thing is, in, the way the whole Forsaken expansion is incorporated into itself <laughs> and the game is a point where it's hard for me not to, and honestly, probably the first time I knocked this thing out, the scale of the boss that I've seen. Mm. Oh, my God. Like, um, the teasers when it comes to the end of yes. not quite being done, but you actually, like, take the heart. And I'm just yes. like, there's... Wait, can I back you up just one uh, right at that part? What's up? I, were any streams that you listening to, were, the stream that you were paying attention to watching, did you listen? Would any, did any of them have their background music on? Uh, it was kind of depend like, if I was awake or half asleep just gotcha. watching, like, it kind of depended. I didn't catch, like, the voiceover, if that's what you're saying. No, okay. I know. I didn't. Oh, I, they were like, I was always just watching the fights. I never caught the intros and stuff like that. Bro, so you that might have got part, those. That part right there where Redeem was doing that part. And I, I, what's homie's name? I forget. Glad. I forget his yeah, name. Yeah, Glad. Yeah, glad. I got it right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, glad, Indica, Sweatsicle, er Error. Those are the four. I know. There's Nick two more. Wait, carrying there. Riven's heart out? I literally, I was like, what is that beat that is playing? I was like, oh, this the is the most, oh my God. It was the most epic tension, aggression. I was like, this beat is amazing. This track is what it, I literally Googled it. I bought the Forsaken soundtrack. That day. <laughs> like, you know, it it's is, free, right? Yeah, but I had to get it because it came with uh, Curse of Osiris and um, Warma. And I know Curse of Osiris people hate that DLC. Does the free, does the free one not come with that? No, it doesn't. Oh, the one you get from Bungie Rewards? Yeah, it's it's, some, it's an exclusive Bungie thing, the Warm... Because they never really sold Warmind and Curse. No. All separate. I know is I want the um, Whisper soundtrack. Oh, my God. That's the one I got to get. So Beautiful. wherever that is, if I got to buy it, I'll buy it. But Yeah, yeah, dude, you yeah. got to buy it. That, that's amazing. Let me tell you right now, that track that's coming out of um that joint is... That's arguably one of my favorite uh, Destiny tracks of all time. Nice. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it, it Oh, that, so anyway, yeah, so continue with the heart and you were, you were saying, I just wanted to make, make reference. Uh, it's just like, just kind of the way it's going, you're fighting this beast that's been taken over the lore of the Ahamkara, of which I'm sure Bife just lost his mind. Mm -hmm. um, all of those pieces, and I haven't even, now I haven't played it, so that's where it's hard for me to say that it's better than those raids, but from what mm -hmm. I can see, the mm -hmm. encounters, the progression, like what you're fighting, you actually have the techians that you're fighting and dealing with yes. in different places, the puzzles that you fight in the middle of like that second fight yeah. where you go through and like, okay, here's two waves, kill the ads, go over, figure out the puzzles, go back. Like mm -hmm. the amount of mechanics that people wanted, it's not just like, it's not just shoot the bosses. And I know Taken King got more mechanics. Vault had some mechanics, um, but I think it was the first time. But they just they cranked everything to not even eleven, like eighteen. They cranked it way up to a whole nother level. And honestly, yes. just hats off to those guys because I think by the time I accomplish this one, it's probably going to be one of the coolest feelings outside yes. of probably like a world one. So when when the finish finally comes, it's I have a feeling it's probably going to top the chart for me. Yeah, man. Now I'm with you. I think you nailed all the major points. Um, the reason why yeah, it's already look for, for me, vault is the pinnacle, right? And I rate raids different than most people. I rate on encounters. Yes. I, I rate on the actual ambiance of the raid. And I rate also, I have a different scale. I also rate on the like memorable drops, right? Now where 
the last wish takes things to another level is this is the first way Taken King attempted this where they tried to have some type of narrative beginning to the start of the raid right I feel last wish is next level like all throughout the encounter right you're hearing Marasov you're hearing you know what I'm saying they're explaining why you have to do what you have to do you know what I'm saying it, it's just this constant narrative through every section of the raid that is amazing to me. Then Bungie trolls us in the greatest troll ever at beating a boss at the end of a raid, right? Because you you see this, the, the Amankara, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> if you haven't seen it now, I don't know what to tell you. But you see the final boss in his form or whatever. You do what you got to do, the mechanics, all that stuff you mentioned. And I'm sitting there cheering on Clan Redeem, right? I'm like, yeah, they got it. It's over. They did it. And then they're sitting there like, wait a minute. It's not over. <laughs> Yeah, and they're like, done. "What do we do with this heart?" And I'm like, "Bungie, you fucking trolls! <laughs> like, now you gotta escape with this thing." And the mechanic is so good with the hot potato kind of thing, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Couple seconds, couple seconds, you gotta get it off. Boom! That person goes to the other room. Boom! And I'm, just, I thought that added so much tension. I think that's why I love that music so much because I was just like, "What are they doing now? Like, why?" You know, I thought the raid was over. So that was amazing. Then you, like you said, after the raid, the world changes. There's another mission. You learn more. Was it the right thing that we did, right? That's kind of like the narrative now, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like, should we have actually done this? Exactly. So it's just that cohesion is so amazing. I'm looking at Paul like, ooh, this is tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, because, and now, now I will, and, and think, let's, let's talk about ambience, my other character, category, right? I mean, the Dreaming City is one of the most beautiful Destiny set pieces ever. I mean, I opinion, would you would you agree or disagree? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's it's oh my god, this is some Tolkien, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones. Like it's it's there, right? Um, now I would say you can make an argument that Ten Kings bosses may be better, different things or whatever, whatever. These bosses ain't nothing to stand at, man. You know, Kali, Sh- Shirochi, Puzzle. You know, there's a lot of things going on here. It's communication based. It's hard. And I want to get to that last point too, because I speaking like I said, we're getting getting into it with your, your clan mates and stuff, but it's all out of love of the game. You know, I remember when we first started, I was like, oh damn, it's really hard. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not easy. And part of me liked that. Part of me was like, yo, I love that Bungie did this because we were under the we we're always under the impression that yo, we're gonna do this raid, you know, that that first day, we're gonna get a, a decent length. Like the first boss was what five thirty five or whatever it was five fifty whatever five, it was five, start at five fifty or five fifty five or five sixty yeah something you're like texting yes you're texting me so I'm sitting there like really so this is a true grind now I know some people shout out to my man zero you know he's like yo I don't like it it feels artificially inflated you know he's like um it feels like you know it says DPS checks where I disagree with him the whole raid is not DPS checks I don't feel and um. It was proven through, you know, um, Destin's team and all those guys in the light level that they they completed that. Yeah. But the point of the matter is, this is the end game activity, right? The fact that it was hard, you know, what I'm saying, but at the but also if you did the mechanics correctly and not make mistakes, which is hard at a low light level, I'm not gonna say it's not. <laughs> you had a chance to beat it. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. It's just a complete well oiled machine kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so, you know, you got that going on, the difficulty aspect, which I love that they flipped this on the head, the ambiance, I got that, and the encounters, the story, I'm like, man, I want to still give it um a little bit more time once I get in there at a higher light level, you know, and, and see, well, shout out to Sin in the chat, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, man, he said he's just made 560 with all his characters, can't wait to rage, <laughs> no, 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 we get my butt, man. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he, that man, I'm gonna tell you right now, he's a, he's efficient. That man, he's good, good. Like we ran, um, the first one, Cali, and it was so much fun, man. Like just a little mechanic of, you know, you gotta find, kill a nice coach plate. But I like the jumping in the in the booth in the hotel room part. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cool. Like everybody, pick a room. Fuck, get out of my room. Like people are fighting for the rooms. Like. <laughs> I was like, look, everything on the right side, if that opens up, that's me. You go in your own spot. <laughs> like, it's just little <laughs> fun destiny things. And for people who haven't done a raid, man, I could tell this is going to be a raid that once you power up, like, it's going to be so fun because you ain't going to have to worry about the tension of, you know, dying so much. But yeah, yeah listen, yeah. it's early. 
trying not to get caught out. I've already, it, in my opinion, it's already better than Taken King. In my opinion. What about Vault? What's your top? Vault, for me, Vault was one. Um, does, it, does it beat Vault? That's where I got to, I'm trying to slow myself down. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Because Vault is special. Vault is special. But I think where I may be leaning, give me another, give me another week or two to let things marinate. Right? Okay. Once I go through it completely myself, and then, you know, we finish that thing ourselves, then I will come back. We will revisit this topic, and I will come back to you with the definitive answer on where I'm at. But right now, last wish is on Volt's neck, in my <laughs> mind. It's so why is Volt so good for you? Just the like quick high why, points, why is it so good? I'll tell you that. Vault is arguably the most the perfect raid. I already see one thing Vault does may have a little bit better, and I'm going to tell you why Vault is borderline the perfect raid. It had the ambiance, right? going deeper into this thing, finding out. It had varied mechanics. You know, I remember the first time, you know, when the oracles came up, like, what the hell are we supposed to do? And you hear the boom, boom, like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? I remember the mystery of that, yeah. the, the, the yeah. fights with that, the Atheon fight, the, the jumping puzzles. It, it, it had a lot of variety, and it was just so well done, in my opinion. And it, you know, when it's something that's the first also, that's always going to have a nostalgic. That's what I was going to say. Is it more the nostalgia sometimes? You think it, that gets you? It's not, it's not just the nostalgia. At first, I thought it was, and I went back. Remember when Age of Triumph came out? Yep. I went back to do it. The mechanics are, so, are solid, man. Like the Atheon encounter, the two teams of three, you're fighting through time. Yo, dust me off. I can't see. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you shoot the thing, and then, you know, you got the, 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 the what you call it? What's that? The, 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 the encounter with the eye that can't see you, the Gorgon's eye. Oh, Gorgon's eye. You know, yeah. You nice. got all these different, cool, varied encounters, and a great boss, a great boss. And here's the strength of Atheon. So I, I'm going to tell you, Aviance is important to me. That's one. But the strength of it, those drops. Remember your first fate bringer. Remember that Vex met the class. Remember, even the legendaries in Vault were amazing. Yep. Atheon's epilogue. Give me some names. Help me out, E. Come on. Give me some I mean, Vault names. Fatebringer, some... Atheon's epilogue. Uh, what is the damn scout rifle? Was it Praetorian foil? And no, there's the scout that rifle one. that had the thing. Yeah, I know what you did. Pray this. Was it? Was it that? Uh, uh, no. Pray this revenge was the sniper. Was a sniper. What was the name? Vision of Confluence. Yes, that one. Bro, those weapons are god, almost god tier. Like, like th they had some of the greatest collection of weapons to keep raiding, right? So, and that's why it had all these things. Now, the only thing you can say with Last Wish, I know beats it. That is just with the what that Last Wish has over it is that narrative cohesion. Why are you going there? What's going on? You know, that kind of thing. I just, the, what I'm worried with Last Wish is, I'm not saying the weapons are trash. I don't know yet, right? Second, with random rolls being in the weapons, I, this is probably the one time where I'm like, I don't know if random rolls should have been in the weapons because it don't necessarily feel special with the raid weapons. Yeah. But I, I am hearing salute to, um I don't know if it was Houndish. Somebody just put a video up. Um that there are masterwork set tiers, set roles of what you call it, weapons of Last Wish. Yeah, it's like a tier weapon. 10 masterwork drops with like basically set roles where you don't even pick. So right. yeah, those are there. Basically curated versions if you want those. And they're going to be right. a, a chance. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, man. Shout out to Snaldo in the chat. What's up, man? <laughs> no, no, thanks for the Destiny love, man. I know that's big from you. You're a division guy. That's big. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, I mean, I said on my rant. I mean, I was just thinking about it. Look, as it stands right now, it's early. I already have it number two. I yeah. already have it number two. And, and my only number three was prior to that was um, Wrath of Machine because I just feel it's a fun raid. I just love the dodgeballs and all that food. It, it was a yeah. fun raid to do. I but gotcha. yeah. Yeah, I think right now it's – Tank King has been dethroned. Last, last Wish is at two. Give me a week. Let's find out some more secrets. Let's let let me finish the raid because that's another thing. You have to play it, right? We, oh, we I gotta, yeah, I was like, I got to get some – Good RNG. I can't get crap for drops. I'll get like four chess pieces in a row. I'm like, my God, mm -hmm. stop that. So that's like, <laughs> that'll take me a little while. At some point, I will find yeah. a group though. That's, but I, it, I have it, to experience I'm just it. saying, E, like, 
be careful. I, I'm, I'm looking at my boy. I'm looking at my boy. I'm like, you gotta be careful, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at uh, what you can vault like. Oh, you gotta be careful. You might be in trouble, but I gotta see. I gotta see. It's early. It's early, but it, it's a. That's how good this raid is to me. Yeah, it really is. You know, so we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, shout out to Sense. He's sending saying what I'm saying. No raid has changed the game world. That's right. unheard of. Like see, it's yeah, that's where me this one the whole cohesion of every yeah. single piece of this expansion and the raid as well, what it does to the outside, the feel yes. like you actually have a progression of what you're going through. Yes. You're dealing with the Techians that have been taken. You're dealing, yes. I don't quite know the story behind the big ass ogre, mm -hmm. uh, but you're opening the vault. You are literally yes. opening the vault. So when you heads up spoilers, mm -hmm. um, when you kill Riven, mm -hmm. you actually take the heart and don't you take it back to the vault. <laughs> Yes. Isn't that the whole point? I was like, yes. the connection of just each piece of the raid back right. through has a theme, right. has a story. You're right. I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I was like, and you and the soundtrack you. alone that I didn't even get to yet is just like, holy crap, man. Like, so, I mean, just the feeling of start of booting up the raid or starting mm -hmm. of booting up Forsaken. Mm -hmm. You have the Barons, you have Aldrin, and then he opens a Pandora's box, basically. Mm -hmm. And then you're in the Dreaming City, and now the Taken is out there expanding more. It's just, nah, man. It's, I got a feeling. <laughs> I I was like, I know the random rolls are going to be probably one of the points of contention for the raid. I'm nitpicking. So, I, I had to look no, for no, that. I no, no. I know you do. Um, but That's I, how good this raid was. Right. <laughs> but also you've got mods, which didn't exist. Mm. You've got the new mods, which are going to help you as you progress through. Uh, mm. I don't know what they're going to do for prestige or hard mode, but those uh, transcendent mods or transcendent blessing, whatever that thing is, that's like Riven's yeah. Curse, but only yes. good. Yes, I got one like, of them. That's, yep, doing a I have mode. one. Yep, I have one. So it's like those are going to be things that are going to be crucial to help you with. Um, it just mm. gives purpose to everything. <laughs> Listen, what I think if it comes down, like I said, after I play it, I think what you just said will might be the defining thing to put to give the championship over to um, yeah. to the last wish because there's no great has never done that. This mm -hmm. is a story. This is a, a, a well, hey, you know, one last point before we move on. I saw someone I on Twitter. <laughs> oh, no, please, please do. Cause we haven't yeah. talked in a while. It's yeah. going to be a long point today. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out to Mega Chad in the chat. I haven't completed a raid yet in D2. Sounds like, bro, let me tell you right now, Megatron, you're doing yourself with your service. Get down with Iron Lord Podcast Clan. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you right now. We've, I've said this at nauseum. You haven't experienced Destiny until you do a raid, and it's one of the greatest cooperative experiences in gaming. It's pure teamwork. It's fun, and it's always good to run someone who's never been before, just to run one person through with a bunch of experts, just so they can get a feel. And you have a specific role. It is so, man. <laughs> we got Meg Chan. Like I said, all you got to do get your campaigns done, get your light. We'll show you stuff, but we, we, we got to do that, man. You have to, as a gamer, and if you own Destiny, you're missing out on the best part. Yeah. But, uh, it's yeah, back experience. To you, back to what you were saying. I forgot. I think I, I was going off on a tangent. Now I lost the thought. But um, yeah, like you said, the, the the cohesive part of the the thing, you know, the whole story that that may put it over. Um, oh, I remember my point now. Someone on Twitter had remember when you you kill Riven, you get the heart. Yeah. When one of the guardians holding it, they were saying that when that guardian's timer runs out, he's like inside the heart and you see the guardian's hand they snapshot it the other guardians holding on it on the outside Jeez. bro if they, that's actually I, true i'll look for that but damn i will try to get the tweet and i will send it to you i'm like i was mind blown i mean it makes I, sense because they like they go poof and it drops so it's like it would, right. where where else would they go there i mean where else it's not a taken realm and it looks like it does have that kind of look as you're inside they're on this little yes. like kind of mini island completely surrounded and what looks like taken. a dome yeah yeah and then it's like when it drops what it says like the heart's beating slower the heart's beating faster there's these little indicators while you're doing that sequence and it's it's amazingly done. I've never seen anything like it, it. Again, I'm just trying to hold out for Atheor just to see where to, you know, when I play it. But it, it's up there, man. It, oh, it's I just coming. Feel sorry. I just feel sorry for who's working on Destiny 3 because the bar just got raised to a whole new level. 
Like I, whatever's ne- like the the annual pass is not going to be as big. They're going to have right. um, you know, raid layers, things like raid, raid layers. layers for this sound going to be freaking amazing. Yes, um, sir. Mm-hmm. But Whatever is going to happen in D3, they got to probably turn around and be like, well, crap, guys, you set the bar so high, we got to do it all over again. And shout out, we got to give kudos and respect where respect is due. Scott Taylor. What's the the homie? What's the other homie? Steve Cotton. Steve Cotton. This is the second time for me because they did Rise of Iron. I'm pretty sure Scott Taylor was on that. I I, I can remember the name of his face. Right? I think. And yeah, they did Rise of Iron. I remember because I remember when they came out on. Uh, the Bungie, you know, show on Twitch. I was like, who are these? I, don't, I never saw them. I was like, where's, you know, because prior to that, I had the homie that did Taken King as the pinnacle. What was his name? Luke Smith. That's basically, because yeah. Luke yeah, Smith was Taken King. Yeah, he did Taken King and did it right, and then he did D2 and did it real yeah, wrong. We don't know what happened. He yeah. snaffled. But these guys, <laughs> Man. yo, Cotton, and what's the homie's name again? Keep forgetting. Scott Taylor? Scott Taylor and Cotton. Steve Cotton. Steve, Steve Cotton. Cotton. Those two, they have now because I love Wrath the Machine. Wrath the Machine is a great raid. It's it just is. that, it, yeah, you can't put it above those other two, but it's just because I think length and a couple of little mini things. But I love the way that raid was done. You know what I mean? So this is their second baby with Last Wish, and man, the bar has been set. I mean, they cranked out a 500 foot homer. They they yeah. left nothing on the table. In the clutch. Think about the importance too, right? Oh, like I mean, it was How make or break. Did and it's like... need to be pitched a perfect game, hit the bottom of the ninth home run. They they were behind it. We we did flat from we listened to Flashpoint one through you know 30. Us complaining. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Game's dead. This was the 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 the, the quintessential magical comeback. On every level, reviewing well, doing well, like it's a good time. It's a good time. Well, I mean, it was man. on. It was on Twitch. It was when they were doing the raid race. It was number two. Look at look at when Destiny almost two hundred, almost two hundred thousand viewers when the raid race was going on. Man, I mean, in, but I was just like, whew, yeah. So that was pretty crazy. Now I do have a question for you. Go for it. I'll go for it. So, and one of my buddies brought this up, and this is kind of comes from the. It's the sense of progression that as it relates to the raid. Okay. And this is where it, you're going to get the whole hardcore casual. I'm going to piss some people off and that's how it's <laughs> Let's go. go. Do you think you should be able to reach max light level without ever touching that raid? Man, that's tough. And I, I'm going to sound like a snob. And I'm saying no. I'm with you. I, that's I, my I, whole point is I'm with you. Yeah. I, this is, listen, never, what is, what's, what's the definition of insanity is repeating the same things and expecting different results. Yeah. We just went through the launch of D2, and I'm getting pissed with a lot of people in the community right now mm-hmm. because they forget how quickly we forget. And I just tweeted a post by Reddit. Somebody said, I see a lot of complaining in the forum, and he's like, yo, you dudes are saying it's too hard to level up now. You guys are – everything they bitched about. At the launch of D2, I'm seeing, oh, I don't have time. Then, bro, it's not the game for you. Or just take your time. Or take your time. Yeah, Like, that. you know what it is? And, and, and I'm so glad you said that. Because what it really is, is dudes want to have their chest out on day one to say that they beat the raid. Yeah, no. Bungie said, no, this is not how it's going down anymore. You're going to have to, and trust me when I tell you, shout out to Attic, you know, shout out to Zero. I'm not coming for them because we, we've had this these arguments before. But, like, my dudes grind. I grind. I've been averaging two hours, three hours of sleep playing this game, and mm-hmm. I wasn't ready. Right. And you know what? It's okay. Absolutely. You don't have to be the world's first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. The, the, DL, the expansion just launched one week, and people already complaining because I can't beat it in one week. This is too hard. No, this not for you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. This well, is it's... not for you. Take yeah. your time. Did your thing, and then you get to it. But I don't want I don't want those dark ages of of Flashpoint number one when we were talking about the launch of D two and how everybody's got everything and how Hawthorne is giving out raid weapons and how what the the the, the, the rewards are trash and no 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 don't bring me back to those days. I like where I'm at. Bungie, ignore the smoke. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. I love the new direction. Continue. I know. Uh, I mean, yeah. So like, that's the piece of, there's a point where you could be able to do everything in the game and then the raid is going to be the way for you to get to save from like 
Five seventy five to six hundred. That's your mm-hmm. final piece. Yep. And honestly, twenty five power levels not gonna be that big of a deal for mm-hmm. basically anything you do. You're high mm-hmm. enough for anything basically in the game. Maybe five eighty. Just because I think some of the new encounters in PvE are five eighty. So if you were grinding going through that stuff, maybe five eighty. But those last twenty power levels, they're not that major, but you have to raid to get them. There is no mm-hmm. question about it. Honestly, that'd be nice. Like, because one of my buddies who I was asking him yesterday, he's like, um, he's like, I still think it should be, you know, and I'll just say his and kind of tweak it a little bit. We said it's like, um, should be story to 500 strikes, public events, that stuff to 525 heroics, Mm -hmm. nightfalls up to 550 and -hmm. then just have a progression. And that's kind of one piece that does annoy me a little bit Mm -hmm. is I know we have the strikes themselves as a weekly activity. Mm-hmm. But they aren't really tied into the progression specifically. Right. And that's one piece I still wish they would do is okay. as you go through the story, give you a reason to run the strikes. Be like, okay, we're going through here. Okay, these are going to be your next piece. Run some public events, run some patrols, get yourself up here. Okay, well, strikes are going to start dropping legendaries that help you a little more. This will mm-hmm. get you to like 520. Okay, mm-hmm. then do this stuff a little more and give you reasons to work through different activities yeah, and truly agree. make that pinnacle. It just would incorporate a couple more pieces. I'm, and yeah. this is, again, nitpicking, but like the raid should be mm-hmm. your only way to reach max because... Mm-hmm. I mean, take World of Warcraft. I'll use that as an example because oh, which the is game the, is, the is... I was like, we actually have a support class and a warlock now, so we're we're de- we're towing a foot in there. But mm-hmm. if you were not running the high-end content, you straight up did not have the highest gear. Not going to happen. Facts. You might Facts. be like, you know, you get to like level 100 or whatever it was, like for the expansion. But your mm-hmm. gear level, the same way we have gear level, would mm-hmm. not touch the people who were like Preach. ran that raid. They would run Preach. around... And then there's also the PvP side as well. Mm-hmm. They would there would be the elites in there. So just the fact that you have to fight and work, and the top people have the top stuff, Preach. it's just how it should be. So that's just how it is. I mean, it, again, here's the other thing too that people forget that the, the, the complainers forget. It's incentive. What do you do when you walk in a tower and you like, yo, where did you get that at? So where did you a, get that? Weapon? Yeah. So here's a question for you. Mm-hmm. You had reason to run vault for that reason. So that's yes. one of those pieces. It's like people are still going to be able to get up to 600. People are like 580 yeah. now, which is blowing me away. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's like you couldn't get to the top without the raid. And some people pushed back and it was casual console BS. Yeah. Um, but that was the only way. And that why do you think people ran that every single, single week for a long ass time? One of my go. buddies had Galahorn. It he had like eight before I got my first one. <laughs> he literally Galahorn has his. Stories. He had his his whole heavy slot full because it seemed like as soon as something dropped, you mm-hmm. had a good chance to get duplicates of it more frequently. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this all just goes back to things being difficult too, mm-hmm. and the fact that it was at five fifty. It said recommended five fifty. That's where mm-hmm. you start. And I remember telling yeah. you before, I was like, I'm thinking we're starting there, and it's going to jump you up. Said it. I did. Yeah. And I was like, and I, I was hoping it. for it. I was hoping for that. And that comes down to the point, and shout out to Iron Lord's podcast, just because I was catching up on an older one. Just get me thinking about older games. Yeah. Mega Man, Super Mario. Ooh. Those suckers are hard. You go play an SNES game, they are brutal. Exactly. There's no save states. There's no, mm-hmm. <clears throat> let me come back later. You, As you guys said, you have three lives, and then you get to try it all over again. All it's over like, again. and when you're out, you're out. Like, so, <laughs> yep. The difficulty in games that, like, mm-hmm. some people are like, I don't have that much time. Well, then play something more casual. But if exactly. you want a challenge, if you want a challenge, yes, this is a good game for you because you are going to have to fight for what you earn. You're going to have to learn mm. your skill. You're going to mm. have to be on point. You can't mm. just slack off and be like, oh, I just want instant gratification because I don't yep. care. Not how this works anymore. Preach. And I love it. So Preach it. I may have pissed off all my followers, but sorry. If listen, I <laughs> listen, and, and I get it. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. It's just, that's just what it is. We, we, again, what's the definition of insanity, right? Mm-hmm. You can't keep doing what you did in destiny to the launch and expect the results to change. Like you can't, we've, we've seen what happens. The casuals get everything. The raids are done. Everyone's max light. Okay, I'm ready to play Call of Duty now. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to play whatever game. And they move on, and the game dies, right? So can we have little tweaks here and there? Sure. Am I saying like they can't do anything about certain things? You know, maybe, you know, the mas- I'm not saying to get rid of the Masterwork cores or something like that. You know, I know infusion costs are high, but hey, it makes you make a tough decision. 
what do I have to infuse? You know what I'm saying? What's the most means the most to me. Same thing, like you said, with them dipping their toe in the, um, you know, wild space with the support classes. Like, do you know how invaluable my warlock was? Oh my it was God. Insane. That's the first class I chose on the warlock. Yes. First, because I knew I was getting raid ready. I said, if I go offensive, I'm not going to help the team, especially when I got guys like Sinister in my clan, who's already, he's no lifing right now. Yeah. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, God bless. And he's like 560, whatever. So I know I'm going to be like the lowest light level jumping in. I need to help the team. I got my, my my well. I got my blessings. I'm like I'm like Father Cog. Blessings, blessings. Hey, who, who needs who needs it? You know, what yeah. what I'm, I'm keeping the team alive. I'm giving empowering rift. I'm giving this. I got my sun my on my sun braces. I'm throwing things. You know, the um, what you call it's over. I'm I'm creating a build. Think about that, right? I'm low key with the mods and everything. Getting my grenades to charge faster. Getting my melee to come back to activate the sun brace to perk, so I can throw more of those solo grenades all over the map to try to control my plate. And, and I'm trying to do all this stuff under level. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get to the middle of the Cali fight. I get down. I throw the well. Everybody, like, we had a nice system. The, the warlock threw the well down. That was me. Everyone did their sleepers, their whispers. She did her thing. Everybody goes, runs for the hotel room. <laughs> we get in the hotel. The doors close. All right, cool. There's all these things. Then we had a Nova Bomb warlock with Skull of our Amankara, right? Oh, he, so he got it right back. Boom, he gets his super back, gets all the orbs, repeat, repeat, repeat. You see what I'm saying? Yep. I was like, this is so fun. And then we're communicating. Whose sign is this? Do you got the, the snake sign with the double head? All right, so me and you got to go over here. Like, it, it, that first part of the race, just learn, like, put it this way. For the people who can't even complete, just do the first part. Get yourself to the first part. Yeah. That right there, that whole encounter is destiny, man. Communicating with your friends, keeping each other alive using the right situations that's why we go crazy for this game it's one of the greatest experiences in gaming i stay, I stay on console gaming that was my little caveat <laughs> it's the greatest cooperative experience in console gaming nothing beats that i'm sorry no i mean i agree because i mean it's a point of like okay do you want to point and shoot stuff over and over it's like there are times you mindlessly want to do stuff but if you want to actually use your brain a little bit communicate actually have a cohesive plan actually be like okay this symbol's over here i gotta move over here hit this platform call out the symbol from the other mm -hmm. side okay you got this you're communicating you're talking you're working together those are some of the best times you'll ever have in this game just don't miss them because <laughs> they're gonna they're they're seriously whatever raid you do when you accomplish that the first time when we got to d2 and i got to see the little like which fire team i was with oh. when i did each raid the first time Dope. I was like, those little throwbacks, I was like, oh, I remember that. Oh, I remember that. Feels, like, just those feels. little pieces. Like, I was like, so no, I mean, make it difficult. Make it hard. Make, and recommended 550. Yep, that's where you start. You can technically enter, enter the raid. Good job. Okay, it's a mm. little harder. Well, work on it more. You're not going to yeah. finish it all in the first week. And that's, that's how some of that should always be. Exactly. Every, every Tuesday, you got mad opportunities to get powerful gear. Every day, there's one opportunity to get out. If you play, do it at your own pace. You can get there. It's not impossible. Just people want everything, instant gratification. They want it now. They want their name and lights. It's not. It's not going down like that unless you put in the work, and that's just how it is. All right. Uh, <laughs> I feel oh, like boy. we have probably probably beat a dead horse there a little bit, but I think we. Uh, no, I mean that's. I'm with you, man. It's like I love. The difficulty, I love the way it was set up. The encounters are going to be so much fun, and it just seems like it's going to be one of those that, dude. I don't. The bar is so high going bar forward. Bar so high. Whew. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't, I don't envy. Expansion. Yeah. I don't envy. I feel sorry for them. December, yeah. the forge, the armory thing. Like, yeah, I, I feel sorry for them. No idea. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you even. Everybody's going to be like, this. "Oh, what's this?" <laughs> and yeah, and then it's going to lay lay. Yeah, God bless them on that. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah shout out to you, got me in my chat. He's like, "I'm leaving if nothing is handed to me." And, so, and that's what some people have the mentality to be like, oh, no, I don't have, I don't want to have to work for it. I don't want to have to try. Well, then you have the wrong mentality. So, and But he shout mm -hmm. out to, he's like, there's like 10 to 12 powerful engrams mm -hmm. a week. There's probably more than that now, actually, because you have mm -hmm. dailies, which are small bumps. You have your weeklies, mm -hmm. which are small bumps. You have the nightfall. I haven't even yeah. done 100,000 yet, which will take a little while. You've got mm -hmm. gambits weekly. You've got... Yes. A uh, couple ones in the Dreaming City. Now you've got the... There's so many. So mm -hmm. many. So it's just like, damn. 
Yeah, so, yeah. Man, I, so a shout out to Hank, Matt, and your chat. So do you think they will tell us what the last wish was this year, or will they hold on to that till three? This is a good question. I, the vibe I'm getting from them is they're doing a lot of foreshadowing, mm-hmm. right? You know, when the K after K Zavala's foreshadows, you know, after this Petra foreshadow, like what you know, maybe we this wasn't the right thing, and then you got some something like that. I think they're going end game, you know, and I don't think we get quick resolution just yet as far as that i think they're setting things up for future dlc but that's just me i'm with you on that one yeah i was like i don't think we'll see it for a while i think that might be i don't know if it's space doritos or what but (laughs) yeah yeah, we'll see because everybody kept thinking savathun was actually going to be the boss Mm -hmm. in this one it wasn't so it wasn't yeah i thought too it's a huge piece that's still out there so yeah so what do you want to get into because i wanted to also talk about the sleeper, or you want to do twab and then kind of flow into all that? Uh, I just do choice. sleeper. Like sleeper's okay. fine. Yeah, they talk about it. <laughs> Obviously, you know how I feel about sleeper. It's arguably my favorite Destiny weapon of all time. Love yep. the look, love the lore. You know, the quest to get it was very, very extensive. Yep. You know, and um, I mean, not probably not as hard as D one. Because D1 has some really tough steps, remember? Yeah. Oh, shout out for that pick. It was like, it it was a time sink, but you could honestly knock it out fairly quick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But he he had those weird days. It was like the seventh of the month, the mission happened, then this, and the codes, and the, it was was some some stuff to it. But not saying, but this this one is definitely long too, and the music boxes and all that. But anyway, I digress. Sleep is my favorite weapon. Obviously, I'm very biased on some level with this because I love this weapon. So obviously, in these gambit streets, we've been hearing things. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. And, um, yeah, so basically what's going on now is, you know, invaders are coming in. They got that sleeper. If they line you up, you're done. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I'll i be honest. I wasn't experiencing it. I mean, I played a lot of Gambit in the beginning. I wasn't experiencing a slow-mo it up. I wasn't experiencing it a lot. You know what I'm saying? But um, I did hear the outcry. And people were like, yo, this is ridiculous. You know, they, I'm just getting one shot across the map. And I get it. So I, then it kind of happened to me a couple of times. And I'm like, okay, I see the frustration. Now, I'm just tell you what I stand on. it. I struggle hearing about a nerf to the sleeper. And this is why. Lore-wise, it's supposed to be one of the most powerful things in the game. The weapon is very hard to obtain. Relatively do, hard to obtain. Not that Relatively hard, hard to explain. It's, it's up there. I w- it's not, I wouldn't say it's whisper level. But as far as obtaining, but right. it's up to you've got to dedicate a lot of time to get it. I feel, you know what I'm saying? So my thing is this, <laughs> shout out to Chris Cover. He saw like, tell, tell what you call it. He's like, I sleep with them back. <laughs> 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 Yo, that was dope. Hey, shout out to, listen, I hear y'all, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to be balanced here. I'm here. Let's see other side. It's not fun when you get sleeper. I will admit. Yep. But in Gambit, this is my mentality. Like when I hear that alarm go off and he says invaded ramp, ramp, he's in your space. Yep. I'm in defense. I, I'm I'm hiding behind trees. I'm looking at my map because I'm like, where? Well, okay, let me. I don't want to get caught out there, especially if I got a lot of moats on me, right? Mm-hmm. So, to me, again, now is there times when you're unlucky and a guy just spawns next to you? Okay, cool. He's nothing you can do about that, right? Mm-hmm. But to me, the mindset, like. You got sleeper too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do that if you want. So when I hear things about, you know, they're nerfing it, I get nervous. Now, the statement came out from Bungie and they said, look, we're going to look into it, addressing it. We've seen the complaints. We're going to make some adjustments. I'm like, oh, boy. Then the other fear I had is, okay, I don't want this affecting PvE. This better be specific to Gambit because do not nerf. You already soft nerfed this gun coming in. Remember? They soft nerfed it with a, de- uh, a little bump, a little decrease to base damage, but oh. they gave a little increase to um, ammo count. Oh, okay. So it got a soft nerf at the launch of Forsaken. They snuck it in with the patch notes. I'm like, mm, I don't like that, but I'm going to let it rot because they gave me more bullets in the thing. So I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm like, if they nerf it in PvE, I'm going to be pissed. Like, this is supposed to be a powerful weapon. But what I'm hearing now, shout out to Josh Hamrick, they were saying... Um, what you call it? They were saying um that they right now they're looking at tweaking the aim assist mm-hmm. so that it's not as sticky and you know what I'm saying you know you won't get the the kills as fast or whatever. But most likely we still have to hit, hit the body. I don't know. But I'm bringing this to you. Like where are you at with the whole sleeper simulant nerf, the controversy, 
Is it, you know, what line of defense are you on? I got to talk about it. Uh, so, I mean, here's the thread. So we'll read through that real quick oh, just so you guys can see this. Moving forward. <laughs> So, uh, Josh Hamrick, he's like, he had a sleeper thread. So, there were little pieces. Bungie said they're looking at it, and he came out, Sandbox Man. Uh, as mentioned, our goal for sleepers was to make it an awesome option, but not the only option. At this time, we are committed to retaining sleepers full power, and we'll be tweaking its full power, keyword there. Nice. We'll be tweaking its ease of use instead of reducing its generous aim assist values. Mm -hmm. This means sleeper will remain just as effective in PvE, whilst requiring slightly more skill in PvP. In case you didn't read TLDR, assuming you're good enough to land your shots, you'll see no difference in behavior. Mm -hmm. Number three, we don't expect drastic behavior differences from this change, but we also don't feel it's that far off. We'd rather mm -hmm. ease the tweaks in like these, which... Mm -hmm. So, they're not trying to nerf it into the ground. Stage one, mm -hmm. that's good. Two, um, mm -hmm. just as effective in PvE, that was your ask. Just take a little yes. more skill in PvP. So... I mean, that's one of those points where, say you're an invader, do you think it should still kill you in one shot? Or do you think maybe it takes a precision shot for a kill? That's what the argument I was having is, uh, just shout out to Demon, man, that's my guy on the clan. You know, he made that as his, like, happy medium. He's like, well, maybe, you know, it shouldn't kill you with a body shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that it, requ it requires a headshot. And if they did that, I guess I wouldn't be completely against it. But I mean, this thing is like a laser from Rasputin, like, <laughs> like the you know what I'm saying? Like, so it 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 just doesn't sit well with me that if I shot someone with a sleeper, that they turn around. I shot somebody <laughs> in the they... stomach with a sniper rifle. You think they should have anything left either? That doesn't one shot you. Exactly. Well, no. yeah. No, okay, yeah, that's my argument. Like, I one shot you to the head, or I one shot you to the body. Take a sniper rifle to the stomach, and then we'll talk tomorrow. Oh wait, we won't. <laughs> That's the whole point. No, you're right. It's going to rip you're, you in half. Like, that's right. like, so the fact that it doesn't, but it takes that precision is a little more. It's like the charge time is there. Maybe it's a little more forgiving or so. I don't know. But like mm. the tweaks that they're trying to do sound reasonable and not into the ground. Um, right. And I haven't seen it as abundant. Now, it's power and melting some of those bosses is still insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like there's a point in how powerful it is. But generally, I think in PvP... As you're saying, it some of it is awareness, but also it's like the fact that it charges up. They can see you through all the walls in the world. So for the invaders, it's just like something, the farther you are, like, I don't know, shrink the hitbox a little bit. If it grazes my arm, it doesn't completely get me. If it blows my head off, I'm gone. But yeah. some little tweak in there because, yeah, you just mm -hmm. like, you point it near the red outline of the person in their toast. <laughs> so, I mean, so it's... It's what? a little, it's a little generous, I think. Okay. Because I've seen like, I mean, it's literally like completely cross map and like. Yeah, it's cross map. Was, and that's kind of the thing. It has no range fall off. And the only things that really yes, don't have range fall off. Point. Like maybe a range fall off is the thing. Maybe I'm you have to be medium, medium range. No, I mean, if you're literally a cross map and sniper, that's literally a sniper rifle's job. If you had headshot me from there, that's what it's built for. But right. a laser that far away, and you got to hold this shaking thing and trying to point I'm it straight like now. 500 now meters away. Me. That's now maybe range. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Those no, pieces, no. maybe shrink the head box or shrink, shrink the, head, the box. head box, aim assist, and give it drop off if it's like across the map. Like yeah. you, you can't. I agree with that because that that person is defenseless. Like you know, what I'm saying it's doing us. I'm with you there. If they did that, I ain't got no problem with it. And yeah. as long as those changes don't affect my PVE and my raid experiences because I need my sleeper. Everybody needs right. that sleeper. Don't be, you know, I hope it doesn't take, it, they have to have that set where it's not against AI and, you know, enemies yeah. and it's just yeah. against, you know, whatever. I believe we have the, they have the tools now to differentiate both. If they do that, no problem. I'm, I'm right with you. Yeah, that's so, pretty much what I was talking about. Yeah. I, it's I mean, it's just one of those subject. that, it's one of those that, um, I mean, it's out there. It's really common. Same thing as I hear about Telesto and competitive right now is just broken. Oh yeah, so oh broken. yeah. They they touched that already. <laughs> they soft nerfed that already. Yeah. With, so, uh, in, in the blind well, at least. Oh no, not in blind well. I'm talking about in competitive PvP. I forget who was yeah. talking about it. Said it's just like it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I didn't even know about that one. But yeah, in blind well, they got that little patch. And I honestly do in blind well. Well, yeah, you finish it insanely quickly. But it's not like I've been hurting on time if you guys are staying alive. I haven't not yeah. finished it without Telesto. It was just yeah. like people were just pounding through it a little quicker. That was all. Shout out to Esoteric. My God, that man. Oh, yeah. Salute him. Dude. Salute. 
soloed the heroic blind well. I'm like, ridiculous. Really, dude? <laughs> that was literally <laughs> Pyro's. That was Pyro's comment to him was like, dude. And I was like, I literally, it's, I just sent afterwards. I was just like to Bungie. I was like, can someone please get this man his own medal, greatest of all time emblem? I don't care. I don't know of anyone else. Him and Slayer Age, because I saw yeah. Slayer Age put up his uh, solo of Cali. Um, mm-hmm. I don't even understand how that works either, but. Just those, there's a couple pieces for like the solo guys who can just pull off feats that I'm just like, man, like, yeah, yeah give, give them some props too. So shout out to both yeah, of those guys. But absolutely. yeah, so next question. Mm-hmm. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> so Ace of Spades. Woohoo! They are looking at a nerf for this. Heads up, I did read that. Mm-hmm. Um, but we got to be clear it's not a nerf to the gun. It's a nerf to the quest line. That's well, no, what I heard. I heard that. Well, no, the quest line happened. That's done. Right. They're talking about a nerf to the gun. Did you telling me news? I didn't know. Yeah, I thought so. I gotta look it up. But yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh God. Hold on. Crap, no problem. Crappy Why you, uh, well, you looking? I remember. I knew talk. about the gun because, like, my mm-hmm. buddy was like, "Hey, I thought it changed." And I saw that, and I told my friend. He's like, "In one match, I had the eighteen percent done." I knew about mm-hmm. that. Right. So. That piece I know, but I really, yeah, Paul mm-hmm. Tassi, did they seriously nerf the Ace of Spades quest? Um, I thought, and I could be wrong, mm-hmm. but they oh, were trust the me, because pet- I panicked. I panicked. I was like, "What?" And then I read what I read was, remember when you got to that point where it's like the invasion kills? That's the first step, right? And then they were like, I think. It was, they made it. They made something an either or. So it, it was kind of like the effect of um. I think is it. I believe it's in the twelve. We'll get to it. I could have sworn it was one of the, the patch notes, but we'll definitely get to it. But um, they definitely changed one of the steps to give it like an either or option, yeah. where you're not required to do that one. You know the precision thing in in the patch notes. So let me see. I think two point oh three. Basically, all you have to do is kill enemies now. That's it. Yeah. We just kill, kill, yeah, kill enemies with hand cannons, and it's just any PVE enemy still counts. You get mm-hmm. a bigger boost if you kill invaders with hand cannons, yes. but you can still knock it out otherwise. And that's one of those kind of either or where it's like, okay. Um, now, I will say, like, for some people, like my brother, he actually finished it. I, he mm-hmm. honestly didn't think he was going to, but we knocked it out and we finished it about the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I honestly didn't think he would. And when he did, I was like, okay, this is technically doable. And mm-hmm. honestly, what the quest did is make yeah. me, honestly, make me play differently and kind of yes. literally. Now, sometimes I literally throw the complete objective out the window, which I think yeah. is kind of one thing that isn't quite right. Mm-hmm. I think it would have been nice if it was on invasion or invading. Right. So you had to do the invasion. So you still had to go PvP, but mm-hmm. at least you had the overshield sometimes. Now, right. if you got a kill off on a guy with an overshield, cool. That would count as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but the fact that it's just PvE enemies only seems yeah. like it it got a lot easier. And I already yes. did this like no, twice. No, absolutely. I was did. like, and yeah. I did it twice. And I'm like, really? Now that's all you got to do? I was yeah, like, so be basically, like five gambit matches and we'll be done. So yeah, I found it. It's um hot fix two point oh point three point one. So gambit players may now progress to Cade's will quest Cade's will quest step by defeating either invaders or general enemies with head cannons. Yeah. So the general enemies makes it a ton easy because trying to kill the invaders where they already have an overshield and you've got to get hand cannon that's tough. It's it was brutal. Brutal. That's tough. I'm, yeah. and I, I, listen, I got it done. Uh, I ain't yeah. complaining. But you know, I understand why people have frustration with that. But yeah, make it make no mistake. They're trying to get more people to get this gun. <laughs> yeah. right. And no that was like it. my brother's piece on it too. Is like this is your pre-order bonus. You have an ornament from like literally logging into the game. And like, mm. if you're not great at shooting people in PvP, you're not going to get this gun that's there. It's like, if there was a separate one, then you're like, hey, this is more of a PvP thing. This is a separate mm. one from Gambit that you really got to fight for. Right. You got to work on those invaders, maybe. But it was just, as it was tied to this big story weapon, right. that was kind of like, eh, like a, yeah, a, no, a purely it. like, this is a lore story PvE weapon, and now I got to go PvP it. <laughs> so that was like one of those disconnects for somebody like my brother, and it was mm-hmm. kind of the point of... The either or is fine, and I wish honestly, if they mm-hmm. did do this, it would have been. 
maybe invader and it was honestly the wording in the quest text first that pissed everybody off in the beginning yeah, the because wording it was, was like terrible kill invader and it's like or kill enemies on invasion or something and it was like mm-hmm. and everybody had to figure out you had to kill the ones coming in you couldn't do it on the other side like mm-hmm. even if i do invade and do that that's just more incentive for people to invade mm-hmm. but no the wording was bad at first but now it's just like it's it's almost too far but Hopefully, I mean, with it, it's a small piece, and it's like, and I did it myself, so I'm like, I'm fine. But yeah, yeah, it's like the third time I do it on my hunter, I'll be like, yeah, this is not gonna take long. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And I will say this, I will say this that um, you know, you still got the general. Chris Cooper says it still takes longer uh, with general enemies. I get it. You know, one thing I will say is this: the ornament point, you have a good argument because people who, you know, got that ornament, you can't even get the gun that you got the ornament pre-ordered for. I get that, and uh, I will say this: it's a like a travesty. If you don't complete that quest, oh, they're so, I, it's so good. The last mission. Oh my god, I literally just is, like muted everything. Yes, oh. I did the mission over because I had something going on and I was I couldn't hear the, all the, the you know what I'm saying the, the talking yeah. and the narrative and what Craig was talking about and his his will. And I'm not gonna spoil it. I still I'm not gonna spoil it. You guys gotta do that quest if you haven't gotten the Ace of Spades. It's a travesty if you haven't completed because you can't get those things done. So in that respect. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I do like the fact that it was difficult for the guys that did the, the old way. You know what I'm saying? You know, there ain't going to be no rewards for us, but it's just like, a, you know, our own little self self trophy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, like get that done because that's how you send someone off, you know? And I, I really. It's so really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the fact that it does open up for more people to at least see the whole quest line, it's a cool step. And like those pieces. I'm mm-hmm. I'm glad more people will see it. It's kind of like more people seeing the raid. Like this is like mm-hmm. this is your send off for the guy who got killed, and you like you get to hear little backstories, little send offs, all the different mm-hmm. pieces. And then, dude, his last one to us, I was like, oh, buddy, oh, in the feels, <laughs> like right in the feels. It was, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's re- yeah. it's really good, man. And yeah. yeah, he he has something to say for a lot of people, and it's yep. really good. Yeah, so more people getting it. I guess that's cool because I guess I do kind of forget that too. It's like, I know it's like, oh, they nerfed the quest. It's like, yeah, and some people really may be turned off because not everybody's great at hand cannons in the first place. Not everybody is. Mm-hmm. And it's even harder on console. I know PvP, uh, PC, it's easier. Yeah. Um, I will say, once I had Ace of Spades, I had that thing knocked out in like three matches for my yes. second character when yes. I used Ace of Spades. And that's why I, I'll have to look and I'll send you a tweet later if I find the damn thing. Somewhere I thought I read they're like, hey, we're looking into a nerf on Ace of Spades right now as well. But for now, more people who get it can enjoy it. It's like one of those it was either um, Dylan or Cosmo or somebody about that mm-hmm. thing. I'm gonna have to look for it. So yeah, because that's uh, kind of a big deal. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. It's yeah. A big deal. So uh, mm-hmm. let's oh, get yeah. to another piece. So we got the Twab. Right. Uh, let's yes, run sir. through this and we'll kind of see what other topic yes. pop up um bungie is out in the european world so if you guys are out there meeting them they'll be out mm-hmm. just in different places follow them along um shout United out to Dave Kingdom. doing hair commercials in the london underground shout out to him getting that real was, fabulous that was amazing by the way <laughs> that was yeah. hilarious if you don't follow Deej on twitter do it seriously Deej. just do yeah. it yeah, doing yourself great. a disservice if you're not yeah um so big shout out clan redeem if you guys don't know them or didn't see obviously they got um first and then mm. i forget who was second and on i dude my heart goes out to dado and honestly yeah. i sent out that tweet too it was like two minutes off oh i saw that i was saw like that. there's so many little blips from like taking this one thing whatever two minutes i'm just like mm-hmm. give the guy the emblem he it, mm. he at least deserves that he had fifty thousand people watching the stream like almost the whole time yeah man i felt for that i mean did they have did they come out with any statement on it i haven't heard anything so i don't know (laughs) it's dad or they'll probably do something for him but it 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 was a hell of a progression people were staring at the vault for like six hours and these people they're on like no sleep and they're getting to the end and it's just so Mm -hmm. brutal and yeah when they got to the troll and there was one point they killed it was and that's okay so here's one thing because this is literally what caused dado his piece Mm -hmm. um the shared fate mechanic. Do you still yes. want that in there or do you want it gone? Now refresh me. The shared fate. That's where refresh. you have to res someone within. Now it's it's longer now, 
But mm. you literally have to res, and that is one of the things I hate. And I was talking about it with my buddy. Mm. I'll say my piece now because I'm just already happy yeah, into it. Yeah. You can't have those clutch moments anymore. The tokens yeah. literally take away from the clutch moments of okay, if one person goes down, I mean the prestige raid literally you you used to not be able to res, so you had to stay yeah. alive. Now, yeah. if you can get to a res at some point, cool. But if you can't and five of you clutch it, those were some of the best moments as well when it came to raiding yeah. because yep. you did cross that finish line be like and you Bunch could actually, you. and you mm -hmm. could pull that. Maybe that one person who's a little weaker, they don't ruin it. And they literally, they went through like mm -hmm. they went through the underbelly. They were shooting on the way down. They did the final phase, and literally the animation took so long they couldn't get run inside to the heart, wow. and the timer killed him. And that was like an hour before he would have been done. Yeah. No. No. I mean, you're explaining it correctly, and I, I forgot all about it honestly. So, yeah, like. I, I do miss that. I miss those clutch moments, being able that one guardian left, and you know you're right at the end, and all they got to do is a couple of actions. You know, what I'm saying, like they to me, you save those type of mechanics for prestige mode. Right. Yeah. Like you make the normal raid. Somebody, yeah. if you're gonna like, if I want to pull people into it, and like you yeah. know, some people who might not be as skilled. Don't yes. make that stupid mechanic be in there. It's like, take the damage. Mm -hmm. Prestige, maybe. Yeah. Like, make the limitation. If you die, you don't make it on time. Mm -hmm. You know, or limited number of reses. That's fine, because, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of crap going on. But that normal raid, that's the only piece. Is honestly not because it limits, like, if You're you right. can actually get to someone and res them, res them. Because that's mm -hmm. literally the lore of how our ghosts work. Yes. The other piece is, like... But if you don't and you can still finish it without them, you should be able to. No, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. And I, I think what is something that they changed, I think they – they. this is where I think they artificially trying to make it difficult by adding that mechanic in it. Well, but, I mean, it was something in, like, D2 with Leviathan they started, but I don't think it should stay. I really think it should go. Yeah. So I hate interrupt. You. Go back to nope, what you were saying. not at all. Not at all. Let's get back to it. But, no, I'm, I'm with you on it. That's a good point. So that's just one of those pieces just after I was literally watching him and he's like, oh, we're doing the animation. Oh, and then the shared fate killed him. They're like, hey, that we got two minutes. We got 20 sucks. seconds. And just because it takes so long for them to go in there, shoot yep. the heart. And that's the finish of the encounter. Not yep. like the final stand and no. dead. It was the extra time that literally caused him an hour. And it's like that baloney to me is mm -hmm. like they did everything. They finished it. They did it with five. They did what they had to do. And if you had one person miss one jump on that, like. It's an insane run through in that little piece that I've seen towards the end when you like climb Riven, um, mm -hmm. jumping up yeah. all the way through. It's going to be dicey. And it's like, and that's one of those, like, if you don't finish it in time, but you can still get the final standoff because you have enough damage, that one piece shouldn't ruin mm -hmm. your entire encounter. So that's the piece. I mean, I think, I'd say, fine, maybe prestige, as you said, or hard, but normal, yeah, they used to not have it in there. And that was part of the fun. So, yeah. Great. So that's, Agreed, man. that's my little piece on that one. But <laughs> shout out to those guys. I mean, it was a 19 hour marathon first, which my, my eyes would have been like burning holes in my head at that point. It was mm -hmm. those guys. I know they probably slept for two days, had all the stuff. Like they were just, I mean, bathroom breaks were probably minimal in there. It's just, I don't even, their bodies had to recover <laughs> after that. And then shout out to Dado afterwards, pumping out like six videos just straight afterwards. So he's been he's been on fire. There was even one tweet yeah. somebody said like it was like Joe Blackburn, uh, the senior designer for the raids, literally tweeted to, to Dado, "Like go the f to sleep." <laughs> yeah, <so laughs> it was literally it's all you saw, I that, saw too. that. Yeah, yes, like, go the, I go did the see fuck that. or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, but I mean, just the culmination of what those guys put into it, the effort, the encounters. And then the viewing it got, the popularity, like the difficulty came so, so close. Like, it's yeah. so good. So, so good, man. Good to see that shout stuff. Shout out to that thing being awesome. Yeah. And I totally forgot What's that? that new strike is amazing. Oh, it's fire. Oh, yes. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And looks like, oh, Skybox's artist always still killing it. But when you go into the craft, you're like, oh, this kind of feels, holy crap, where am I? Like that first <laughs> moment you see where like the setting changes, mm -hmm. uh, and it's like and it's the third Techian. It's the three. Two are in the raid. Where's the third? Yep. Hey, we it. found her. Yep. And oh. it's just like and just that that piece. This is why again this thing is so amazing yeah. because like the raid. Like we have a new strike. There's your third Techian that counts so to the lore, well and this is the ah. Uh, so uh, the connectivity, the law connectivity, the story arcs, everything going from the beginning, during, after. It's like this continuous, well-written story. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like I said, I I had confidence. Remember I told you, now this is where my prediction, remember I told you I got confidence when it came to the lore because of that summit, the Milan games thing, the input, them really getting on them about everything that was wrong with pr- prior raids and prior, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, narrative things and characters. And they listened and nailed it. They nailed it. Like that. that's the part that it's really going to be hard to take this thing off the throne because of those elements. Like, it's so, so well done, like you said. Yeah, I was like, it opened up the strike. We got a new Gambit map, which is, that thing because is gorgeous, that. too. Yeah, it's nice. I like What's it. What's up, Scream? How you doing, man? Mm-hmm. Oh, Scream, what up? I was listening at the gym this morning, so. Uh, uh, that's right. <laughs> gotta get that workout in. Hey, I got mine in this morning. I half-assed my workout, but I got through it. <laughs> got mine last night, too. I uh-huh. get it. That's what's up, screaming and building. Struggle bus is real sometimes. Yes, sir. But yeah, I was like, just the culmination. I think like this, I totally forgot about the Corrupted Strike. When you played that thing, you're like, oh, so, uh It just like, mm-hmm. it, and when you wander around the Dreaming City, you're like, oh. And I was running around with my, my brother and a friend of mine. We're all of a sudden like, what are these portals? Yes. What are these worms on the ground? Yes. What All this little crap that keeps showing up. I was like, I'm not even done with this place yet. And I was like, I've, I feel like I've seen a lot and there's still stuff we don't know. Still there is something and there's like the whole... Potentially, shout out to Houndish or Unknown. Those are my two yeah. big followers because yeah, they pump that. out videos faster than I know life is possible. <laughs> shout uh, out to Unknown and Houndish. But something somewhere potentially is going to have the Wish Ender shooting those little like taken rocks that are floating around yes. everywhere. Like the one that's sitting on the waterfall. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that. all those all over the place. Uh, the Ascendant Challenges, you done the you done this week's? I have not done this week. I've done the last two. I didn't if start you, this one. If you're not a platformer, you're going to hate it. Yeah, Sin, he's already in the chat and saying Cognito and Jump, so I, I already expect him to work, so <laughs> yeah, I'm already expecting it. Yeah, well, at least I get to talk to Tolan, my boy. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little bit in there for you. So I like me some Tolan. So Those Ascendant good. challenges are cool because they have been vastly different every time. Yes, I like the second week when you 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 know you try to avoid the night, you do the blind thing, and you get to the middle, and then yeah, oh, well, the oak, super over and over. Super, and those, oh, oh that was so much health. fun. I didn't actually get to do the first one. I wasn't quite like fast enough to do it, but mm-hmm. um, it sounds like there's going to be either six weeks of rotation on those or something mm-hmm. uh, for those little like eggs or rocks or whatever those little taken things are. Those yeah. are going to be, I mean, it's just like, this, it just keeps progressing. It's like, mm-hmm. it's not going to, and they really wanted to make it a hobby and damn, they have held up their end of the bargain so far. Because yes. there's stuff that, like, if you grind really hard, you'll get to. But there's other things that you you might be a few weeks out of. So, yeah. mm-hmm. <sighs> so um, that's what we got. I'm I'm just like uh, I, I could talk about Forsaken until oh, yeah, we were blue in the face. We missed man. a week, so we had a lot to get. <laughs> yeah, we were we were <laughs> off a week. Uh, Cognito had to raid. How? Oh, I did yes. want actually. I want this on 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 official verbal Let's here. Let's go. How Let's did go. you? How was your raid experience? Because I was watching. I didn't have a group. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Big Tears on my face. But how was your raid experience? And how do you think other people, for their first time, might learn something from yours? All right. Well, I enjoyed the raid. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I was gonna call my brother Game and Addict. Lord Addict was spoiling things for us because he's all mad. He's all upset because we got in a raid, and he's like. It's 560. Oh my God. It's just so hard. And we're not going to be able to do it. And because he had his heart set on beating this raid. And I get it. Like, we came in there, you jump in, you had the narrative going. It sounds great. We get to the first encounter. We're starting to. Um, now, here's the thing, though. You know, I'm, listen, we were under level, no doubt. But the thing was, we were actually learning the mechanics, we were getting it. And I'm like, no, dude, like, don't melt down now because. We, I think we legit can pull this off. We just got to have flawless technique. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's got to do what they got to do. We got to, and we got to help each other. Like, it was so bad for me. I couldn't kill my knife. So he was like, yo, Cognito, don't worry about it. Because one thing, I can control my plate, right? The first part of the, the, the Cali Ray experience, you know, for those who have done it, every guardian, you know, they look at the sign, the car sign is fine in the middle of the room. Like, look look at these chandeliers. You pick out the snake that you got to go to. You find that, that circle that on the outside of where the map is, of the corresponding symbol. You sit there, you hold your plate down. You got to move on this plate because it's almost like a it's almost like a, a, a hot plate of food. <laughs> you got to move so you don't get burnt. Then when that happens, 
the uh, what you call the, the orbs are there. The ads are coming at you all the time, and then the uh, the taking night spawns. I was handling everything. I had my well of radiance. I was I was I was fine. My problem was when the taking night came because I was under leveled. I really couldn't handle them by myself unless I used sleeper, and I didn't want to waste it because I knew I needed it for the actual DPS phase of the boss when you go to the center. So our whole thing was. You know, we had a couple of strong guys shout out to Sin. He was doing his job, Demon Reads and certain things. And and Attic was doing his thing. It's just that, you know, it was they were we were under level. So it was these guys are tough. So we gotta call it out. We gotta be like, hey, I need help. I'm over here. I need you know what I'm saying? So we weren't doing that. We kind of fell apart. Then we started to learn we had to learn how the um I call it the hotel room phase goes. So then when we figured out, okay, because Attic did a good job, he's like, yo, I don't think when those ogres come out in the middle, that's that's good. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, so we killed the knights, and we realized that allows us to get into the room, you know what I'm saying, that protects us from her damage phase. So what was happening was, you know what I'm saying, like just getting down there, figuring that out, it was a little bit of a disjointed mess. So we weren't on the same page communication-wise. We had a couple slip ups, but each time we were getting a little better and a little bit. And I, I felt it. Normally, if you know how you play a raid, you're hitting the wall. You're like, look, it's just not happening. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, not, it's like, it's this, not going to be that day. Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't the case. The case was we were under level, but we were improving each time, getting better, understanding the mechanics, and then getting to the DPS phase. And, and then I, I know we would have got it, but you know. Well, that guy, Lord Attic, wasn't feeling me. He's just so overwhelmed by the decision Bungie made to make the raid so damn hard that he checked out. So, you know, we had a talking to. We're all good now. But that's when you know destiny is good when friends are fighting. <laughs> when friends are fighting and you're arguing in that raid, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because everyone has their own feeling of how things should be done. And, you know, it, it's it's one of those things. It, it, I still say learning, going into a raid blind is probably some of the most fun you can have because everyone's got ideas we're trying to figure this thing out and it's so cool when one of the ideas works and everyone's on page but you got to communicate you got to listen you got to be calm it's going to be stress you know what i'm saying you got to be wiping a lot but you got to figure it out but once you do that's the match now when you know the head's cleared and we did it the next day or whatever it was two days we took a day or two it was fine. We got in there. We took about three to four damage phases before we killed her, but it, it felt good. And then once you experience it the right way, you're like, man, that was a fun encounter. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, that was fun. You know, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to get back in there. Our light levels, I'm so much stronger now. Like, I should be able to handle business in there. You know, and my other problem was I didn't have, you really need a good kinetic. Um, You need a shoddy, but you need a, a, a good second, another weapon because those taken little things they keep teleporting and it's so annoying because you can't really get a good dps beat on these ads they're very good annoying ads in that first part of the phase <laughs> so yeah that was that but you know overall we got to the second part just to see the mechanics it looked cool you know everybody's getting tired we should like, we come back to this kind of thing so we're just doing each segment piece by piece calm nice and easy have fun roar of advice don't stress don't attack your teammates. Don't argue with your friends. Yeah. That's the raid. You don't have to get the championship belt this first day, even though you want it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, ain't gonna, you don't have to get the leather jacket, even though you want it. I think that's what it is. Bungie puts those things out there, and everyone gets into that pressure mode. Nah, dude, just have fun. You You'll see enjoy the it. inside of the jacket has the raid emblem? <sighs> it looks yeah. good. I'm like, I don't even know if I could honestly justify wearing that thing in public, but it would just be oh, no, awesome I'm to have. have. That that if they ever put that up, I am buying that. Oh, I think it's I think it's limited. I don't think you're gonna get that chance. So Yeah, man. Uh yeah. So I mean that's kinda one of those. It's like if you've done anything to that encounter, but that's literally the way a world raid mm -hmm. works. Like World of Warcraft, you we mm -hmm. you literally work on that first boss and then you might see what the second one's like. Then next week you come back, you work on that boss, and more people get leveled up. And you'd have certain people who'd be like your higher DPSers or your tanks or your main healers. Like certain yes. people would start to kind of develop into their roles. And, mm -hmm. you know, the ones who are higher levels, as you said, Sin's putting out the DPS, so you're holding that mm -hmm. down. And it's like, and you start to kind of establish your yes. places in your group, and you've got roles oh. and stuff like that. But it was so, that was kind of one of those pieces. Um, that I wish the whole token mechanic would go away for at least normal. Yeah. Because yeah. then if you need to be like, Hey, I got to switch on the fly. Something's up. You mm -hmm. can, you can adapt. You can be that like 600 right. who's pulling a five seventy through a couple pieces so they can see some of it. Now there is something I need to comment on. Cause uh, to be accurate, 
apparently I was told when we did it the second time that there's one guardian that's chosen that has an unlimited token mechanic. What? And yes. So I don't know. It is true. I've confirmed this. We, we were doing the raid the second time, the Cali phase. And I remember that he was like, yo, don't pick anybody up because you're going to waste your token. And there's one person that can pick somebody up. Sin, help me out here because you're in the chat. You know what I'm talking about because I did it with you. There was guys we were running with. So apparently the game, I don't know if it's the game or something that you do, designates one guardian in that encounter, encounter to have unlimited pickups. Because oh. I seen it, and actually the guy kept picking. He was like, because I was like, oh, I'm going to go get you know this one that died. And then the guy that had the mechanic was like, no, 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 I, I'll pick up everybody. And he was doing it. Anybody oh. that went down, he picked up. That's interesting. Yeah. So is it least, random per time you started or once you like kind of establish uh, gonna, yourself in the room? I'm going to say it felt like it was random. Okay. But again, Sin got to help me out here because Sinister was in that raid with me. I, you know, I never had it. I didn't understand what they were doing. But all I remember them saying is, yo, Cognito, do not pick this guy up. You go to the center room, handle your you know, thing. I'll handle your night and I'll pick up the guy that's down. But I'm like, wait a minute. Didn't you pick? They, they were like, no, he's the designated pickup guy. Or whatever else Sin says, yeah, he doesn't know how it happens. It's it's confirmed it's in the game. We had one guy, I don't know if it's a glitch, <laughs> but there's there's a dedicated person that per you know Cali phase for the whole phase until you all wipe that can pick up guardians unlimitedly. So I hope maybe they do that. <laughs> he always Sin says it's random. Yeah. So it is okay. So he, he yeah, but it's true, it's confirmed because we were like, whoa, that helped us a ton. But yeah, man. Maybe they can do that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if they imply some type of random and give some type of proper indicated if you have this buff or whatever it's called you know that allows you to do it to um you know for future raids future encounters uh i'm trying to read about it real quick but yeah okay, yeah yeah man i was shocked i was like wow i didn't i didn't notice and it really helped because that one person was the designated like healer pickup yeah, and control and stuff when things got out of control and, I, yeah, and then everybody can help each other out a little bit more. It was really good. Nice. So, okay. Well, we have talked a lot about the raid. Yes, sir. <laughs> we have covered Sleeper, which sure. hopefully will sound like it's not covered in the raided into the ground. <laughs> uh, Ace of Spades. Yes, sir. Tweaking. Um, <laughs> trying to think what else. Because I know so we had two weeks off, and it's been most yeah, of basically weeks. like, except the launch week. Just uh -huh. like the progression since then, uh, mm -hmm. like what else is you outside of the raid? Like what else have? What's kind of a cool thing that you've seen in uh, Dreaming City so far? Um, Dreaming City, like I've been been messing around with the blind well a lot. You know, I've been doing that. I was trying to get like my. That, by the way, I like it a lot. I like yeah. it a lot. It's um, you no, know, I'm rest in peace, Telesto. They were making it super easy with that Telesto cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they got they got that patch you know this week or yesterday, whatever it was. But um, now nah, I do lo I love the mechanic. I love um, again, it's Court of Oryx, you know, meets a little escalation. Well, not, not I shouldn't say escalation. Escalation protocol gets crazy. Like, I was doing that like recently again just to compare, and it's a like escalation is such a bigger scale and more of the bosses and all of that. But this is a tighter knit thing. It's kind of like to me. Archon's Forge and Court of Ar okay, Oryx made a, made a baby. Yeah, I can see that. You know what I'm kind of thing. I so, will say um, the drop rate on the token seems easy because I'm literally stacked on those right now. I can't run out. Yeah. It, Which is how it should be because, like, that was the reason Archon's Forge sucked. Nobody could ever get tokens. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, great. I don't so I like issue. that. I like the little tincture of foil mechanic. It's like you got to drink a little drink, and then you yep. can see the ascendant realm, and you go inside the portal. And I like that. I love heads the up to everyone on the tincture. By the way, mm -hmm. only drink that when you're in the activity you want to be in. Yes. If you're gonna do, if it's like, hey, you need to do the corrupted strike while ascended, wait till you get in there, then drink it. Because if you yes. go back to orbit, you fast travel, you're you done. lose it. So don't yeah. waste it. Those things aren't cheap. Yep, and they put in this. Yeah, and I, I, for whatever reason, I have unlock unlucky drop rates getting one of them. So yeah, luckily I didn't make that mistake and stuff like that. But it was cool. Pick up your purple and, uh, trees. You'll want them. <laughs> yes. I just like this. I just feel like it's such an interesting space, and also I like that the enemies are powerful. Like you will die oh. out there. <laughs> yeah, they will mess you, especially when you go wandering towards the garden area. Yes. Man, that place. You're like, why am I? Oh, they're whooping my butt. That's why. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Absolutely just working me down. 
Yeah, but honestly, I mean, I've been in a dreaming city, but I've still been doing other stuff, man. I've been, you know, on my chases for my milestones and touching, I've still been touching Crucible, obviously banners this week, getting into that and armor sets and stuff like that. And right now, I think I'm more into the minutia. You'll be proud of me. I'm into the minutia <laughs> of customizing my armor sets right now. Oh, dear. Like I raids or perks or builds or what? What'd you say? Raids or perks or builds? Um, Not actually, raids, sorry, I meant perks, builds, or yeah, color, perks. Colors. It's been more. It's been all of that. It's been builds for my um, what you call it, my my well of radiance, the um, that one. Um, getting super fast. Um, build for my sun bracers so that I'm getting melee stuff back so I can activate the thing again. Builds for the guns. You know, some of my best guns. Matt trying to masterwork tier them up tier up to tier ten, but I got like up to tier seven, tier eight. You know, doing that kind of stuff. Mess. Oh, you know, which is a fun little mechanic I'm having right now. I'm having fun. Uh, boss spec, like boss spec, major spec, mm-hmm. minor mm-hmm. spec. Yeah. So I've been putting like boss spec on heavies only. Makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You know, you're going to do DPS to the boss. Let's say you're not using your sleep and you want to use something else. You're not using your whisper. You want to use something else. Boss spec on rocket launch and stuff like that. Trying to, ma- oh, comparing roles oh man you know getting oh, that I gotta, <laughs> it oh, never ends <laughs> it never like it it's so much minutiae and that's that also adds to the depth of the game because it's like bro i, I got my go i got this go figure because at first i got to go figure that had oh like, we got to uh, compare because i got a good one too yeah at first let me tell you what i thought was my god i was like i got um rampage and i think head seeker and i'm like oh i'm ready you know what i'm saying like and it was good for pve don't get me wrong but I had one that, to be honest, I almost sharded. I thought, oh, I was like, this, I'm getting this out of it. It was moving target, right? Get this. It was moving target and full auto, right? On a go figure. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm, I'm just going to try this gun out. I was melting people in the crucible. I was like, I got full auto and Zen moment. So, bro, I didn't like, I then when I put on the go figure with head, you know, whatever, the other one I told you about with uh, Rampage and by. I'm like, why does it feel so slow? It doesn't feel the same. Yeah. And I'm like, it's that full. Like, I'm completely on that. Yep. vigilance. And I'm like, damn, this thing would move. I don't yeah. think it two taps, but man, it feels like it's close. It, it, it doesn't two tap, but it, it it it's like you're DPSing so fast. If you got yeah. them lined up, it's like brr, brr, burst and they're gone. That, like that next bullet, it's done. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, man, I feel like I'm cheating, right? Mm. <laughs> this thing feel, and then it's so sticky because I got moving target on top, and you got Zen moment, so I know you you got full auto Zen. Full auto Zen. Oh, that yeah. gotta be nasty. <laughs> it's that, pretty solid, yeah. man. I was I was in there. I was like, this this works like real yeah, well. Tell me how good you feel when you just lacing people with oh all, man. Lighten them up. <laughs> yeah, so right now, you know, man, messing with my bill. And now here's the problem I do have in discovery with all of this. It is hard to get escalation shotgun out of my second my energy spot. See, I, I don't have that thing yet. Oh, bro. So Please I'm, go to Escalation. Get dude, in there today. Get in this week. I was going to say, is it this week or not? Is it dropping yeah, it, this it's week? Yeah, it's all this week. They, it's okay. all three yeah. this week. So, bro, let me... It's... it's oh, so I, everybody in there, other brother's mother, everyone uses it. Believe me, I know. <laughs> it is, it, I can't punch in right out. mind take it out of that spot. In PvP, it's amazing. It's got distance. It's quick firing. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Oh, and yeah. PvE, you already know what that trench barrel do. Oh, and know. then it's got perfect synergy because remember with my warlock running sun bracers. Oh, melee I'm, grenades, 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 <laughs> trench. Just... I'm slapping the boss yep. or slapping the ad. Slapping that ad. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Slapping that ad. Slapping that I was like, wow, it just went dark. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Flash point at the door. So I'm <laughs> doing that to the ad, right? Then I'm getting the trench barrel perk, gets that shoot off on the um on the on the boss, right? For major DPS, then I can throw it already activated the sun bracer perk, throwing mad solo grenades. I, I was I had so many grenades on Cali during oh, that thing. I can only imagine. <laughs> My clan mates were like, dude, I can't see, see her the head for the <laughs> I have like, heard whisper is not the greatest thing on her because she her head not. like is 
little, yeah. little bitty, like it's a little bitty. Then she moves a little bit. That's why sleep is bae. Like sleep, I'm never getting rid of sleep. That. That's just my so versatile, man. So versatile. Every situation, even up close, you can shoot at the floor, get out multiple. Anything you want to do, sleep is doing, man. I just, I can't. It's my gun. See, it's, that's like the galley this time around. It's, yeah, that's it's little, been that was my galley when galley was out in D1. I've always been like sleeper way better than galley. I've always been a sleeper guy. Uh, wanted to ask you as well. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, scream saying the claw of the wolf. That pulse rifle also. Oh, I haven't got yeah, it yet. That is thing apparently beast. is. Oof, yeah. He's on another one. I got what's another one? Oh, misfit auto. I got Sounded a good like one. Call it over there. Another one. Yeah, another one. You know what I'm saying? It's so many guns, and, and, and that, what you know what's good about the crucible right now? So many things are viable. Oh, there's a lot of like. Man, I honestly like people are like, how are you gonna put bows into a fantasy magic like oh. fantasy dude? Bows are crispy. That's the best mm. way I can describe. Them. It's just think, think mm. done, and it's just like it's two. And now it's like you're not gonna get that like instant kill. You're gonna have to work them down. You might have to wait till they peak again. But you get both. You get somebody who's slightly open. Yeah, they're they're done mm. quick. Yeah, and it's no, just absolutely. so it's yeah, just I mean, the silent killer. I love it. Yeah, then you get explosive hit round with the um. With Rampage, I'm seeing people with bows with that. Bows are a prop. Like, everything is viable, man. SMGs feel good. Um, the, 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 what you call the, the sidearm, Vestian Dynasty was a problem. There's a couple other sidearms that are really good. There's really, because Time to Kill came down a bit, the only thing you can say that's still not good is high impact scouts. Yep. <laughs> it's like, those it's still like, suck. Yeah, they, yeah. Sorry, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just like pulses. Or oh, oh, bro, the gambit. That's what I had to tell. I'm having fun in gambit, man. Having a ton of fun. Yo, the weapons he's giving. I, I tell you what's my god roll now. Uh, for, oh, I mean for uh PV uh, for PVE. I got the bot. You got to get this post called bygones. Well, no kidding. <laughs> bro, <laughs> I haven't got it yet. Bro, believe me, I want it. <laughs> But yeah, I got that scout. Um, I didn't get a chance to test it, Chris Cove. I know a scout the you're talking scout, about. From Gambit. What distant relation? I have that. I think so. Yeah. I have moving the, target and Zen moment, but it's it's okay. It still feels weak. Yeah, some of the I scouts think... too. Like some guns got decent sound effects. Some sound all right. I swear every scout I have sounds like I'm shooting popcorn. Like it's just <laughs> they're so they feel so weak. I mean, and they may hit reasonably hard of like pick people yeah, off from right. range from them, but man, sometimes they just. They sound like I'm, I know a little more. Like yeah. I want a little more bolt pop. I need a little more oomph yeah. to my scouts. I got, they're I got they're one. supposed to be ranged, yeah. and they just don't feel like it. There's one. I don't know if it's called the cut above or something. Cut something. That sounds. That one, yeah, I know that one's decent. About. That's a decent heavy one, scout. I get if you got a good roll on it. That one's decent. But um, yeah, right now, those gambit weapons, the, the auto. I forgot the name, hazard or something. Um, yeah, I've only seen literally ones here. Ahead of me I got one. and I got bygones are almost like a god roll, but I got like it's got full auto and rampage. It's it's disgusting. I put a um a major spec on it. You know I, I'm I, yeah. like I run down on people and gamble with that. And the, the, also the um the, the the rocket they got some one of my boys demon shout out to demon. He's got cluster and tracking and tracking. Yep, I have not been that lucky. Mine are trash. Ever the bad omens. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. Shout out to here's, here's has my cast of the oil. Uh, yes, has it's beautiful. Okay. Sorry. No, my bad omens is garbage sauce. Yeah. So I got auto loading holster and quick draw, oh, yeah. and I got field prep and genesis. <laughs> Yeah. Genesis is an interesting perk for some things, but yeah, like cluster and tracking, I haven't seen it on anything yeah. yet. It's just yeah. really, really. Yeah. Really sucking up. I did want to ask you, are there any, um, there's a couple exotics for me and before I say mine for you, are there any exotics you've been pulling out that have been working really, really well in certain places? Oh yeah. Um, have, have I, have I mentioned sunbreakers enough? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, okay. That's yeah. That's um, a huge I'm, I'm being silly. Um, let me see. I've been, because I've been kind of unlucky with, now you're talking about weapons or armor. I mean, either works. I've either? got two. I've got two weapons of mine, so I'll save mine. So. All right. To be honest, exotic RMG has been very bad for me. I've literally gotten older weapons. So my first one was like Risk Runner. My second one was like Soros Regime. My third one was like the Warlock Chesapeake. I haven't gotten anything new. 
anything. Yeah. So I've been living on some braces on that class. And then, all right, you know what? What old one actually, the, when I finally got my chaos reach for the, um, you know, my Kami Kami Han joint, mm-hmm. um, I threw, even though it's for the storm caller subclass, the, 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 um, right, yo, that has tremendous synergy in getting all your abilities back all the time. Because not only are you killing things, because the grenade is, is really good for that class, um, the Chaos Reach class. I forgot which one is the pulse, whatever. Not the pulse, the other one that kind of does a circular thing. Um, it's really good. gives you energy back. The, the attack is like a ranged melee lightning ball. Crazy. And then everything kind of just gives you your super energy back. And then on top of that, the natural ability of the class is when you get multiple kills, you'll see that little lightning energy thing come back to you to give you recharge all your skills again. I don't even remember what those things are called. Yeah, I forgot what they're called. It's that little little... lightning force on the ground. It's like a little, little, you know, tunnel snake or whatever it's doing. It's coming back towards you better catch it. Because if you catch it, sometimes I'm in the middle of a crisscross. Ionic uh, trace. That's what Ionic trace. Yes. That thing, man. So that synergy, it's just abilities, 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 abilities all the time. And then I, I'm not even mentioning putting mods on it, like a super mod. Or I put a super oh, mod on top of Tempest. And so it's just I've been loving the synergy there. And I got my third subclass with um the Nova Warp, and I'm learning it. I, shout out to Demon. He taught me the biggest advice that I wasn't using. I was literally running around, poofing around the map, right? Yep. Just I'm like, damn, this thing, it looks cool. It's fast. But I'm like. I ain't really killing nothing, right? So I'm just like, eh, this is whatever. And I said, did the same thing. I played with it in Crucible. I'm like, eh, okay. So he's like, Cog, you know if you hold it, you explode and create more damage and it's a wider radius. And I was like, no. He took took me on today. It was over. Mm-hmm. I was it, it, like, I look for campers. I look for people in the map to cluster up. And then I just teleport, teleport, boom, and you and it lasts. That super lasts long. Nice. Like, well, it you probably have to because you got to travel some distance. Yeah, and it does. It does. It, it's way longer than Stormcaller. It, it right, once you master, you just got to be good with your teleports and getting out of situations. And it's super fast. You're like this evil little ghost wraith chasing <laughs> people down. <laughs> Dude, it's good. How's it What about you with your classes, man? What about you? Uh, classes I have done. I've been living warlock or not warlock titan missile. It, I know it may not be the most efficient thing, but I have not had more fun with a super. Thundercrash is so much fun. Yes. And honestly, uh, kind of a mini shout out to when I used it. They're not all perfect moments, but when I did the, um, when I missiled Zal in the strike in the face yes. and finished him off, that felt really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but for guns, for me as well, go to first. Yeah. Risk Runner, if it's fallen in Gambit, you better use that gun because, oh my god, it melts. Really? Oh, oh at like a beast. Risk, Risk Runner, Runner, when it's fallen in Gambit, if you're going to go kill ads, you can just wipe a whole side out on your own because they do so much arc. You have arc conductor. You never run out of bullets. The arc electricity kills all the ads. Dude, I will melt an entire side without dying. Oh, I'm pulling that out the vault. Risk the Runner is a beast in Gambit. Wow. If you have fallen, now not it's not as powerful against others because there's not as yeah. much arc. Now sometimes right. I'll use it on Hive because if you let a, like one thrall walk up to you and swipe you, then I can go do the same thing to like every thrall, every every like acolyte and just melt them down. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Risk Runner against fallen, yeah, that's a must, absolute must in Gambit. Mm-hmm. It's huge. Now, my other one, and these are ones like I've got a couple exotics to drop. I'm like, eh, let's Mm -hmm. mess around with it. And I masterworked both of these. So I finished my masterwork on Risk Runner. So that one's Mm -hmm. done. And then I finished my masterwork on Huckleberry. And in Blind Well, I don't stop firing. (laughs) I love that gun in Blind Well. That makes sense, too. Oh, it's so good because it's like increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger. Kills yeah. with this weapon reload portion, and the masterwork is reload the full magazine. And doesn't it have rampage on that too? Uh, yeah, it's got rampage and ricochet rounds. Mm. So I literally just I'll just stand in the circle and go. Wow. And every medium to low guy is just like 
dead. And I just never run out of bullets and fire. Like awesome. I, you can just sit there and solo the first part of it on your own. Like the wow. point where it's a, like you pair that up with a shotgun for some of the big guys. Oh, that's dirty. Yeah. Like you so go. What shot are you using? Yeah, you Since go, you've got escalation protocol, what shot are you using? Uh, I've just been doing Badlands. I got a reasonable roll, but nothing I amazing. Nice. So nice. I got Bro, one with uh, Ram get in that escalation protocol dude i know i had the hardest time just barely finishing that i got lucky to find a group that i finished that one on Mm -hmm. uh i think there are only a few roles because i've seen a lot of people with it but my subtle calamity with dragonfly and Mm -hmm. uh explosive rounds Mm -hmm. like it's boom and boom yeah explosive rounds and dragonfly so explosive head sorry and dragonfly and then it's Mm -hmm. got fiberglass arrow and natural string the accuracy is 93 damn and I think I so, got one of those with uh, draw time on the. Uh, did mod. you get your second, your third subclasses yet? Uh, second one I've got. So Titan, I'm going Sentinel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because uh, I don't think the fire one, while okay, I don't mm-hmm. think it's as. I don't know, game changing. I should say. No, I feel what you're saying. I feel uh, you saving that one for last. Yeah, I'll save that one for last. Warlock, I went straight up Don or um, Well yeah, of Radiance well, first, no. and then honestly, I think Chaos Reach will be my second one. Yeah. Oh, they got yo Bungie, Chaos Reach, Bogged. When are we fixing it? What's up with it? Yeah, no, Actually, oh. I haven't touched it. Yeah, I mean the, the biggest part of the whole lore, or lore of the super. Remember, you're supposed to jump in here, do your Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. But if oh, you turn it off yeah, 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 early, yeah. yeah, it's not giving me. It's not stopping the thing. So you basically, if you cut it off early. Like now, when you get, you just must best use the whole thing, even if you're gonna die anyway. Yep. About staying up in air too long because when you cut it off early, it's not stopping at the part you cut it off. Mm-hmm. It's literally going all the way back to nothing. Yep. So yeah, please fix that. I want to use this. I, I'm that low key, even though like it's tough, man. I think chaos. Remember how you have that conversation with me? And you're like, yo, it's just some suit, some classes are just way better. There's no reason to run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm getting that way with uh. With uh, with this my storm, bro. So chaos reach is kicking the other two's butt. It's it's not even close because it, I think storm chaos reach that whole tree has the best warlock neutral game, very close to the well of radiance one, but neutral like all it's just pure offense. Yeah, it's offense, offense, off, and then you get in the ionic traces and you're getting the multi multi kills powerful grenade a a ranged melee like i'm shooting a ball at you from distance you know what i'm saying you know and then you put that with the right exotics and i still didn't get those exotic boots that kind of top off it's supposed to make the the super chaos reach last longer i didn't even get that yeah i'm dying for that so yeah that one is like i'm not running the other ones just (laughs) And see, <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Long no, no, you're ago. right. You're, yeah. wait, so wait, like, now, I will say, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I give you that with the storm. Like, bomb. like Nova Bomb still is its place. So yes. That one I'm okay with. But Chaos Reach, same thing. And like, honestly, my normal fire hammers just due to the rain. Like, the Burning Mall is like, it feels like there's so many things you always have to stay away from in this game. Yeah. It's hard to get up in that proximity. And unless you just like, if you went Burning Mall. And mm-hmm. say maybe even just against PVE enemies, you would not take quite the damage. Mm-hmm. It'd be one of those things that would be easier. But it just seems as like I've got to get up close. The throwing hammer is cute, but mm-hmm. um, <laughs> just like the pieces behind it don't seem. Again, it's as powerful. So it's like some aren't as good. throwing throwing explosive hammers absolutely mm-hmm. still wreck things. Yes, because you go I melting agree. point, smash, throw hammers. They explode. That's how esoteric solo in some of this crap is. Literally, the old hammer class, not the, the new old one. Hammer, yeah. The old one. Nova, so. Yeah, Nova still has a. No, the entire Nova class still has a purpose. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dawnblade, they got to do something at the top, but I, I, it's still Dawn Bottom Tree Dawnblade still good. Still, I was because you want to be. Sometimes you're gonna have to be offensive. You can't use the well for everything. I mean, yeah. you can, but you know, sometimes you want to give your team, you know, DPS and. I still don't believe did these still decent in the crucible, but yeah, I am looking at storm bro. And I'm like, still not st- the bottom, bottom storm bro is still not strong. It's still tickle fingers in PVE In PVP. It's better, a little better, but I'm not really going to pick that. I can cross map snipers with chaos reach. Like if you clump together with chaos reach, like what's the new map that came back convergence. Yeah. In the crucible, yeah, but you know how that's a sniper's heaven. Oh, absolutely, snipers in fear. Don't pack up and try to sit there and perch because if I have chaos reach, you're out of there. 
<laughs> and it's such a blinding, huge beam. Oh, like I had that reach before. It's like, damn, you get melted. So Large yeah, and in charge. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um, by the way, blade barrage. You're not getting out of the way of that one. You're just oh, gonna die. That thing is lethal. I'm so happy for y'all because that was what my guy, my guy Sinister. That's what shot the Fonz and those days that made my hunter mains. And they always complain, yo, we don't got nothing that's like a Nova Bond, like a shutdown. We don't have oh, that. That is power. absolutely what that is. Oh my god, it's so fast. You. Well, you if I think I've dodged one of those because I was literally passing on either side of a hallway, and I think I took mm-hmm. like I like the it skimmed my butt and I took a little damage. But literally every other mm-hmm. time, you're like you're dead before you even see the supers popped. You know, exactly. I didn't know what happened. So fast. And I smiled because I said, you know what, hunters needed that. Hunters needed. They needed to be feared. Have that. And then the DPS and PVE. Ain't Dude, I was gonna say it'll unload on some bosses. Oh, oh, it's like doing more. Isn't it doing more? Correct me. You're you're the hunter guy. Isn't it doing more than Golden Gun with the Pretty um sure. yeah, with the it's Celestial? Absolutely destroying lots of things. So, like, I don't see a whole lot of Golden Guns. I really don't. And yes. that's another point of like, if it's better than Celestial, like, you might have a little farther range on a boss, maybe if you're doing a single shot. But generally, mm-hmm. if you can get in a room with one, mm-hmm. yeah, Blade Barrage mm-hmm. is going to be absolutely insane. Yeah, Blade Barrage, um, it's really good. Mm-hmm. And then I have not hardly seen anyone go whirlwind guard. That is one that I think is going to be. Yeah. There's not I, a, there's not a point where like, you know, I need to bounce a lot of stuff back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's not a cool I mechanic. Remember, it's supposed to have the, um, the, the, the extra damage after if after you don't. You, yeah. If you ricochet. Yeah. Yeah. Or something. And then you. Some Deflecting weird... projectiles triples arc staff damage yes. for a short time. So. I mean, if you got a like a mini boss you're fighting, let him shoot you once with that thing, spin it, stop, and then just uppercut him in the face. Like the uppercut sounds cool. Yeah, <laughs> that one's good. Uh, my, like I will say those spectral blades. There's a few times those things have caught me off guard. And I'm like, shing shing. I'm like, ah, damn it. Because <laughs> like, it's, I mean, it, if you like are looking down a hallway, yeah, you could probably see him close. But in the midst of like a pretty hectic now fast paced game, yeah. spectral blades have a decent purpose if you can like flank. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Like just out of nowhere, yeah. I'm just shut down. I'm like, oh, okay. yeah, I love it, love it, man. But yeah, I will say Huckleberry, Blindwell, Risk Runner, any yeah. Fallen Gambit, like okay. those are a must. And I got my duty bound, by the way, um, ah. from Savathun's song. And I've heard people have been getting more of these type of drops, so I feel like the mm. Nightfall exclusives have had a, a little bump, a, buff, a little bump, a little uptick. Okay. And, then, and then one more gun to shout out, the Duke. Oh, the Duke. You know what, God, I haven't really used it. I always get it in its infusion material. Well, I got <laughs> wait, one, hold on. I got one I'm with cool. Light Mag, Outlaw, and Moving Target. So. Oh, wait, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Duke, is that the hand cannon? That's the Did 110. The yep, that's the 110 hand cannon. Real okay. slow, big hitter. Mm. So I got mine with... So Outlaw, Hit Mark HCS... Light mag and moving target. And I got, I don't even know. I think it's a range perk on it too. Ranger stability. Mm. So it's a pretty reasonable one. That one hits like really hard too. That's actually what I used to work on my uh, Cade's quest because it it would hit hard enough. It didn't take as many shots. Yes. So if I got the jump like two shots, then it's like you can have a chance to get like, take that shield off and get work on them before they really know what's going on. I will mm. say that Kate's quest, while it would make me completely throw away the objective, and I'm sorry for the teams I did that to. I'm not that terrible. I do <laughs> yeah, apologize. Yeah, I was saying, I'm doing the objective. I was like, I'm not doing it. But it really made me, like, learn where they spawn, back yes. my ass against the a... wall. Thank like, you. basically, like, so the one that I always picture is, I picture it's kind of like the Star Wars trash dumpster. It's got the place mm-hmm. that's called the slums and those little, like, huts and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know the map. Yeah, so it looks like that. So if you go up to the right-hand side, um, you're up on the far right, and I basically backed myself against the wall. And then multiple times I got kills is when they would spawn kind of, when you were back there, a little closer towards the center and down that first ramp, they would spawn mm-hmm. down there and be shooting. I'd just walk behind them and start picking them off. Mm-hmm. And then the other one is the first map we got to play, the forest, like the EDZ one, the Crast Cabal ship. If you walk all the way up on the top of the ship, stand up on the very tail, you mm-hmm. have the height, and if they spawn, they're either going to be across the map and you can look for them, or they're literally down in front of you. Because they always spawn on the beach and you're above them and they can't see you. 
Okay. So okay. Like, those were, and that was getting the kills was really frustrating because sleeper pissed me off. Like a lot of people it did, but it made me literally completely go out of the box and be like, all right, how yes. are we going to do this? And that was not a bad thing to a That's point. What I'm saying. And I was it, like, maybe I, if it was like one invasion kill, not five. Cause sometimes I got four and I was stuck on the fifth one for forever. But if it was like maybe one or two more or give you a couple options or just check some boxes over time, yeah. it made you it made me think out of the box a little bit. And I really yeah. did like that. And that's why I'm a little hard on the sleeper nerf guys, because I did that K bounty first. Mm. And I oh, was yeah. getting so frustrated how I was getting murdered by invaders, right? And I'm like, yo, I can't. I got so I took Crimson. I played my distance. I waited. I was using the map. I was hiding. I was very defensive. It made me a better gambit player to try to kill them. So now when I got whatever weapon I wanted, like it's I don't I don't have that fear and that trepidation because I got so better because of how to deal with it with that quest. So that's why I'm a little like, yo, there's a little bit of get good in here too. You know what I'm saying? I know the gun is, you know, OP. I'm not saying it's not. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying a lot of it too is you have to play defensively you have to play a certain type of a way yep. when that invader comes in and that's all i'm saying for guys really give that a shot too as well yeah well and then like me my buddy and my friend uh i don't know if scream was with me when he did it or not but mm -hmm. if it's like if you're all working on the same quest just literally back up to the spawn point if they come at you just unload hand cannons somebody's gonna get a kill and just work on them mm -hmm. together i think you told me that actually first yeah <laughs> yeah literally just like have three friends everybody mm -hmm. equip hand cannons if somebody invades back up everybody try and shoot them hopefully somebody's gonna get yep. them and you can work through it together yep. so that's, I mean, that's a little uh it. yeah because attic would be like look we know we don't care about the objectives and he's like oh he's on my map okay where's he at okay cool I'm, all right if you get there i get there we, we you know we try to get him you know what i'm saying yep. and if one guy killed we're like all right like we literally wasn't playing gambit the right way <laughs> we were playing team get the kills in gambit <laughs> those hand can and kill that's what we were doing oh yeah completely threw the quest objective out of the window oh the window yeah, so I do want to say shout out to my little mini Fist of Havoc, the Ballistic Slam. I love that thing. Absolutely love that thing. And I actually haven't even tested it out with Insurmountable Skull for it, but I hear it's like a beast with that. I don't even know if it's changed. But what I'll actually try and do is if I can get the elevation on an invader, do the slam, and then I can kill and punch him. Because it's strong enough, it won't kill him. But mm -hmm. I'm usually pretty close to killing him once I slam. Like one or two shots or something nice. like that. So that's a nice way to... If you can get the elevation mini slam, because mm -hmm. you'll cover the ground quicker, and then at least kind of it's an even fight once you jump yeah, in there. No doubt. Oh, uh, quick run through, I guess, on the TWAB. We do have a yep. new mode coming, and I like how this, while there, it's going to be a competitive mode, we actually all get to play it first. Mm -hmm. uh, so nice. it will be called Breakthrough. So speaking mm -hmm. of Crucible and shooting people in the face... Uh, so the way this is going to work is at the beginning of each round, players will fight to capture a middle zone. Basically think of King of the Hill. Mm -hmm. Uh, once the zone is captured, your team will deploy a quote breaker. I'm not entirely sure what that is. If it's a thing you have to run over there, uh, mm -hmm. if it's something you have to pick up on a run as players work to deploy the breaker, the zone can be contested resulting in an epic tug of, tug of war between the teams. Once the breaker is captured, it will be used to assault, uh, and hack the enemy team's vault. So... If you hack the enemy team's vault, you win the round. So it's three rounds, definitely objective-based, but you've got like a two-stage objective. So if you drop the first one, you can still, you know, kind of like bunker down and kind of still pull back potentially because if they don't do the mm -hmm. other piece in time, it sounds interesting. What do you think about this? Yeah, listen, it sounds cool. You know, I'm willing to give it a shot. It's different. You know, we like hearing new modes now. Didn't, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't you play this? I didn't get a chance to play. Didn't you, did you get I a chance to play? I never got to play this. I got to play... What was in Crucible Labs, like Showdown or what? I you cannot... played the one with the Scorch Cannons. Well, I did Scorched for sure. Yeah, you And did I got one. to play about three matches on the very first one mm -hmm. where it was like kind of just almost a tweak on Clash. It wasn't a big deal. I played that one first. I have not touched this one. Yeah. So this one I have not seen. So I'll mm -hmm. be kind of curious on this is. And again, I don't always like jump into PvP. I'll do Crucible. I honestly yeah. wish this was in both, not just competitive. Because yes. I'm not going to go jump in competitive like... But yep. make it make another objective mode because we've only yes, got literally go in, yeah. we've I'm got control you. and clash. Like give us something more objective based, truly, where it's like just more variety and quick play. I'd love to yes. see this in both. I kind of hate that it's going into competitive only. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I, I definitely see what you're saying. Yeah, man. I mean, listen, I'm willing to give it a shot. It sounds cool, you know. In theory, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, I just like the fact that they're still trying to introduce new things. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm all for that. You know, we all complain, oh, they're just rehashing ideas and all this stuff. No, they're giving us new stuff too. You know what I mean? We got Gambit. We got this breakthrough. You know, I, I, I'm really, I really enjoy Gambit. I really understand the mechanics way th- thorough now. You know, this breakthrough thing, this thing sounds pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curious to see how that works, you know, with the, you know, you get control and the breaker and with the tug of war. It seems like this tug of war kind of thing. So, and it's going to be interesting to see how you make your builds around this, right? People are going to come up with some sick builds, you know, what subclass is going to work, what better here, all that kind of stuff I like. So, see, yeah, this I'm seems gonna... like one where more either Ward of Dawn is going to be a huge deal yeah. or even the Sentinel wall that you can walk with. Like those making different modes will at least give more subclasses viability, which is what mm-hmm. we need. So mm-hmm. that'll be big. They have some cool looking maps too. I hope they're not just for this mode because yeah. they said they made them specifically for it. If they're just stuck to this one, I'm going to be kind of bummed out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we've got Equinox, which mm-hmm. looks like kind of a good old, um, I'm trying to think, mm-hmm. what am I thinking of? A Trials of the Nine type yes. world. It has that yes. feel to it like that one other map did. Yes. Uh, Firebase Echo. So, mm-hmm. oh, this is the one they were playing in. Um, that was the one they were playing in the stream. Yep, yeah, with that one. So, mm-hmm. okay, I'm hoping these maps come to other places, too, because yeah. I know they're playing just Clash on this one. Mm-hmm. Citadel, just, you know, anything in the Dreaming City is gorgeous. And then Convergence is back, so you got the big old box in the middle of Pantheon and Sniping <laughs> Lanes. So, And then, of course, see, this is what I talk about, like cyberpunk, trash, dumpster, whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. Just all, It's just rusted out platforms basically i don't have yeah. a way to describe it so but that one is a uh, gambler's ruin so mm-hmm. that's ps4 you guys enjoy we basically have like one we have a map like that for gambit so enjoy it yeah heads up gamble uh gambit is free again this weekend so Ooh. if you got any friends who like have it if you have a friend who has playstation tell them to get the game for yeah, one it's free. free and you can keep it yes and then two you can play Gambit for free this weekend. That's, again, exactly. another nice addition to it. So There's no excuse to not be playing Destiny right now. There's yeah. no excuse. They're mm-hmm. giving you the lanes. They're giving you these free weekends. Oh, I can't wait. And you, the, the biggest one, the bigger announcement besides that game is you got coming up next. And that's what I'm looking for. Double guess, Valor? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Because that yeah, so... is what I need. I'm on my grind. Do I'm on my Regis grind pretty good, man. I got... The the two fifty the pulses because remember I finally got a good pulse my go oh. bigger yeah I'm I feel like you need to start working that since I got I've been working bigger. that thing man I'm on step I'm on like the the the, the what you call it one it said to get to heroic I did that I think I'm up to the part where I got it uh, no I'm up to the double kill part but I already know how to get past that because um okay. good old uh war cliff coil baby oh god yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Honestly, yeah. like, man, I will say grenade launchers are actually finally viable. I'm tired yes. of seeing edge transit and they acknowledged it, which is fine. But I will say in PvP, dude, just the, the ammo you get for a grenade launcher, mm-hmm. that's I will almost take that over a rocket launcher now because it's so quick. Mm. Yeah, they've got some use and the fact the amount of damage you can dump with a grenade launcher into a boss. If you get like a melting point, um, Melting point or rally barricade, just do, 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 like 10 rounds, oh. just straight up, especially if yes. something like uh, grenade reserves and things like that. Like, this is where ammo builds comes in. Like, oh, mm-hmm. you can have a lot. I've had, I've had, I've been holding like 13 rounds in edge transit or something like that. If I go mm-hmm. full grenade build, that's a lot of damage to dump out with rally barricade in oh, next yeah. to no time at all. Oh, and yeah. If you, and if you had well of radiance with that, psh, that's how people, that's some of the ways people are melting outside of sleep. Oh, yeah, right. absolutely. So, yeah, double valor this weekend. If you guys are working on that quest, I mean, you're going to be an Iron Banner anyway. May as well get your valor. Hey, might, so. might as well get it done. That's because that's what I said. I'm going to knock out my powerful bounties, getting that double valor at the same time, and working on Redrix. This is a good Redrix grind week. End. <laughs> yeah, got got to do it, man. I'm definitely on that right there. If you guys hear my dog in the background, sorry, he has separation. No, no he's just. Uh, <laughs> He's not so happy when one dog leaves and I'm sitting here in the office and it's closed up. Can you, hear, can you actually hear him? <laughs> no, I can't actually. Uh, if you hear you him, let me know. Cause no, no, no. He's, he's no, whining no, right, now. Wolves right now. Yeah I, yeah, I got my two salad and wolves. <laughs> no, oh my, no. hold on. Okay, seriously, just for you guys to let you know how well my dog takes this, I'm going to open the door so you can hear it. Let's hear it, let's hear it. Yes. Wow. Wow, that's Rise of Iron right there. 
<laughs> we got the soundtrack from Rise of Iron live on Flashpoint, y'all. Exclusive. <laughs> So two huskies, I got my wolves. So the iron wolf. <laughs> the iron wolf. <laughs> the, that, that's literally my intro for for Attic. And right. the how of the young folk. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Just record that sound effect. There you yeah. go. So yeah, one of my huskies unfortunately doesn't like when the other one leaves without him, so he's not too thrilled with it right now. But so is life. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys can hear that because yeah, when he's when he's uh, feeling alone, he lets the world know about it. So. Nice. Uh, other it. things, a couple of random patch notes. Iron Banner, you guys may have seen you or think you were going to get powerful gear, but they're not meant to be that way. And I'm okay mm-hmm. with that, honestly, yeah. because Iron Banner should not be your way to level up and get free easy gear. You have two bounties, work through yeah. them, and outside yeah, of that, just enjoy the gear. Mm-hmm. Right, do it. Tincture of Queen's Foils we covered. Just make sure you're in the activity. It's going away when you leave yes. it, so keep that in mind. Yes. They acknowledged Edge Transit. They they had to know. There were too many memes out there that were great, by the way. Oh, the memes were oh. hilarious. I saw one recently. It was like literally the full inventory and the character was made up of Edge Transits. It was like yes. just, they photoshopped Edge Transit into the full character. I was like, this is amazing. Amazing. Yes, the so, memes were lit. Yep. So a lot of good stuff. Um, I haven't watched these, obviously. Gigs and... Gigs, is it Gigs and Glad? I feel like those. Are, I know they're not the same, but I don't know if they're in the same clan. Yeah. Uh, sure. But either way, they're just they're doing some crazy stuff because they're up there right now. Top mm-hmm. levels. Shout out here, Solo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right there, good old Slayer Age doing his thing. Hundred twenty thousand pop on the boss, whatever that is. I'm not sure what that damage number came from, yeah, but. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I worked just at about two hours here, guys. So it's probably a reasonable yeah. time to uh, wrap mm-hmm. this thing up, but. Yes, it's I can't stop playing. <laughs> Dude, Destiny's good, man. Like again, when I'm sitting there trying to be a reasonable adult and saying, "Look, you've been on this game for over 7 to 8 hours. You need to go to bed cuz you have to go to work." And then I say, "Wait a minute. If I can get this one powerful gear doing this, then I that's going to give me a master work core. It's going to give me this like like it's this endless thing. It just doesn't stop. And then it's it, it's just it's like a Ooh, one more thing syndrome and i got you just got to cut yourself off because it's like you won't stop and and because the grind is what it is and oh it's so much fun and then you're getting you know the rewards are great and it's just a good time man destiny's is such a good place it's good to see everybody playing it again it is really rocking right now and then dreaming city right now we got more to do more evolution banners this week free you know triple xp free gambit you know, next week is something. What's Tuesday? Then something else coming. What's, what's coming next? Breakthrough. Uh, yeah, breakthrough's coming. I was actually yeah. I got the calendar up. So you got Iron Banner this week. Breakthrough. New Crucible maps will be live. Hopefully they're yes. everywhere. Uh, yes. October we've got Festival of Lost coming with some twist there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then still we've got uh, the weekly playlist, all that stuff. The evolution of the Dreaming City will continue. Yes. I don't know how long that's going to go. How many rotations? Yeah. How many quests do we haven't three, seen? I heard a rumor was a three week cycle, but I don't know. Let's see if the rumor. Well, is I true. remember three weeks, but also I feel like somebody said there's. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember what they said. Somebody was looking at a quest, probably data farmed mm-hmm. or something like that. It mm-hmm. sounded like there are six ascendant challenges. Mm-hmm. So there's literally like six weeks of doing that, and there's the little eggs in there, the taken eggs or whatever you want to call them. Yes. Um. They said there were a lot of those. So, like, even if you start that quest, it might be six weeks before you finish it. Before you finish it, yeah. So it's that piece stuff. is there. So you got October, November. To have a little calmness as the insanity of every other game in the world is going to come out. Because, yeah, I'm not going to. Mm-hmm. I haven't even touched Spider-Man. And I, that's one I definitely still want to play. Which, bro, I mean, I literally turned it on, played for about 20, 30 minutes. And I'm like, I got to get my grind back. I got to get back on this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't want to. You guys, you guys got any more of that grind? Any yeah, more of that I'm grind? Just, like, <laughs> Give me more of that grind, man. It's like, I need my drug. It's back. Good times. Good times, man. Yeah. So we got all that stuff coming up. And then December, psh, machine, heavy machine guns, man. I'm still, I can't Ooh. wait to see what those do to the game yeah. at PvP. I love picking up my clip of like 20 bullets and you only using like yes. three per kill and be like, here's five kills. Come on, come mm-hmm. at me. Like, yes. I love that. And then mm-hmm. we got a new raid layer. So this one's already yes. insane beast mode. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um and all that stuff coming up in December, so keep it going. Gambit's gonna be hanging around long enough. Just when you think you're getting used to it, bam! Evolution in spring. So mm-hmm. 
<sighs> it's it's gonna be a busy time it's a good time to be a gamer but it's a bad time to be an adult that's kind of my mm-hmm. rap on that one because i don't have enough time to pl- play all the things i want to play and there's too many things out there now as well oh by the way did you get a chance to play blackout, blackout on call blackout. of duty i did not my have boss you played did... any you play PUBG. i know you guys were talking about yeah, that yeah, yeah. PUBG. it's take PUBG and polish that that's what it's that's what Sin told me. Smack, and what I, it's going to smack PUBG. PUBG yeah, people like, people are telling me the same thing. People are like, yo, this thing is coming. And, you know, I saw a trailer of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I got it. Snaldo says, so good. Yeah, I, I think it's coming. I'm very interested in seeing that mode. And I know with Activision, that budget, and that, that they're going to have a better polish. You know, that's why I, I think PUBG rushed to kind of get out full release finally because... They know, you know what I'm saying? The storm is coming. You know, you got that and the Battlefield 1 stuff like that. But I heard tremendous things about that mode for uh, COD. So, yes, I am definitely interested in seeing where they go with that. Yeah. So, I mean, I got to dabble in that one a little bit. And I've played PUBG enough. I know this mm-hmm. is Destiny normally, but I played PUBG yeah. enough to get a feel for I'm never yeah. going to be amazing at it, but it's still cool. I kind of like the experience. Yeah. Basically, take the same thing and polish the, polish the game with yeah. COD. And... <sighs> You've got projectiles, so it's not mm-hmm. hit scan. So, I mean, Vehicle that kind of gives right? it more. Yep. Vehicles in there. I jumped in a helicopter. Actually, didn't crash it. I got shot out of the sky, <laughs> but I didn't crash it. Um, nice. Zombies are a little tiny piece in there. And mm-hmm. it just it just felt like PUBG with the Call of Duty polish. And it was like, yeah. Fortnite's free, and it's got its cartoons and building. It's kind of yeah, its. I'm not the those Fortnite two guy. will live, yeah. but PUBG, I'm sorry. I mean, it's like, and sadly, it's like, I know Xbox went for that one. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, Call of Duty's multi-platform and universal, and it has the Call of Duty name. Yeah, I think it might. Kick yeah, it's gonna go somewhere. That's it gonna might, do numbers. It might kick PUBG in the nuts by the time it's done. So. It's pretty, you know, going to. I mean, let's just call it what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it's they're active. They got they got the buzz behind it. They got the market. It, you know, they, I expect big things from it. So, yeah, I, I would not be surprised. <laughs> yeah. So. That's just, I mean, that's another piece. Call of Duty, Red Dead Redemption. They said the Red Dead Online is coming in November. So mm-hmm. much coming. So, uh, yeah, find the time to grind when you can. It's a good time to be a gamer, and I'm just going to be plastered to my computer. <laughs> that's what it is, man. So, that's what it is. It's the closest yeah. thing. I think we probably rambled on enough for this week, guys. It has been two hours. So thank you guys for sticking with us. Chat on both sides have been awesome. Absolutely. I don't. I wish we could have cross chat because we have like Iron Lord's podcast chat and then Ubuntu's Twitch chat, and I need to shove you guys together so everybody can talk and see everything. Uh, but you can always watch this on both sides. You can even just bring up the chat window and even see each other's at some point. I'll see if we could ever get a cross chat together, but that'll be a different animal in itself. But yeah, yeah. Um, Honestly, like my giveaway, like my channel's been doing good. I had one of my videos pop randomly. It was my uh, solo guide, which I have to fix, by the way. When you do yes, a solo you. guide with Whisper of the Worm, and then you actually have Whisper of the Worm and you're using it, people aren't so happy. So, <laughs> But I want that mission to get fixed. I know you probably yeah. have it, so you haven't had to go back in there. Heavy I ammo don't... doesn't drop in there. It doesn't drop? does not drop at all it sucks so mm. like you got with like perks and stuff that you got now with like matter wow so it's glitched. zero okay. so whatever you run in there if you go full clip with like, even if i go 22 with like a sniper reserves or something like that yeah that's it that's all the whisper shots you got now i mean yeah wow. if you got perfect shots great but if you gotta go like you can do it with a group but i haven't tried to solo that thing again yet yeah, i probably I could see. because now you can go because the biggest thing is also what sucks in there is if you switch Say I want to go between sniper if I want to go special and primary. Yeah. But I've got a primary in the other slot. Mm-hmm. You can't if your middle slot doesn't have primary and you don't pick any up, you don't get any you can't pull from your other primary, which is kind of yeah. stupid. Yeah. That's a problem. So, yeah, it's like you gotta so I almost need to take a kinetic sniper for some of the ads, different scout rifles I can switch between to drop shields and then go from there. I actually was using that Calamity bow in there, though. Uh, the one with Dragonfly and stuff like that. I was wrecking some of those guys in the middle. So it's doable, but it's just like if you miss some of those shots in the end, you're going to be hunting and pecking with a scout rifle. So I want... I mean, heavy ammo should drop every blue moon. Mm-hmm. Uh, final critiques for me. We didn't even get to Masterwork Cores, dude. We didn't even talk about it. That's we how crazy. We didn't even get there. Uh, we'll right. save that yeah. one for next week, see if anything comes up and then. But yeah, basically mm-hmm. it's the economy is my issue. Sometimes the ammo yeah. seems broken where stuff doesn't drop. Masterwork yes. cores, um, mod components. I don't really have a way to get those very often. Like I had like mm-hmm. 200 mod components saved, so I'll be able to buy like 20. But once my 20 are done, I'm like, 
Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to kind of get like, them on. And I have mm -hmm. 5,000 weapon parts and they're useless. Like, I'll get mm -hmm. rolls, but I can't I can't even buy for 500. I mean, I don't care. You get weapon parts all the time. Like, you can't right. get mod components. And I, I haven't modded anything because I'm You know what you got to do? Them. Because you, you what it is, you, it doesn't sound like your Master Work Core game has been, you haven't been, see, you don't seem to be lusting like I was. So me. Well, I only I've have 160, going, so I'm afraid to use those too. No, I get, I get it. What I've been doing, I had to go to the vault and I was like, look, y'all, <laughs> I've asked to work a lot of things in here and, and daddy needs some cores. <laughs> so who's putting their head up on the chopping block to get broken down <laughs> for infusion? Let's go. And I, I went to, because some of them guns, I'm like, look, it's a great gun. But now that I got collections, I can get you back at any time. So even though I would masterwork some things, I was just like, even even came down with some masterwork. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's masterwork. That's cool. But I can literally go to collections and buy the gun again. Right. So what's my pressing need? Maximum light level with the stuff I have right now. And I had to make tough choices on certain things. I still got a ton of my vault, but I went through a good half of it. And once you break down Legend, they're giving out, oh, my God, they're giving out uh, my components like candy off of every breakdown. I was oh, getting mine. I went through breaking down a bunch of stuff, but it's like literally once you're done with that, there's not places to earn a few things. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Like, you're right. and those who didn't have this giant collection, think about the people who just yeah, jumped in. Don't like, have, they have. Them. Yeah, you're right. You're that's right. the tough spot. It's like we have some. I've got options if I put it in a piece yeah, of gear. Yeah, you're right. And then I'm you're gonna right. upgrade it. I'll take it out. But it's like I've had stuff for backups to buy. Not mm -hmm. everybody has that stuff, and that's the yeah, piece right. where. There should be some way to earn that. Literally, Paul Tassi yeah. has an article and about Master Tassi, Report. Just put it up right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to read that once we get done just mm -hmm. to see what he says. But it's like, I'm sure it's all yeah. the same thing. It's like, you can't, there's no way to earn Master Work Course right now. Mm -hmm. Where the hell do yeah. you, I mean, where can you even earn them from? No, literally go to, to Spider. Literally, I'm a, Spider has taken all of my shards because I go to him every day at reset. I'll Yo, buy bro. one for 10, and that's it. I'm not going to go for more. He's not going to get me no, on that inflation. Nah, he just, He's not doing it. No. He breaks my will at about, once it gets to 80, I'm like, all right, you're not getting 80. Yeah, no. I'm going to hold on to my shards. They're going to be used for other stuff. I'm going to wait. Mm -hmm. That guy, that, yeah, I'm greedy, like, I'm that like greedy bastard Chappelle's. can hold on to his stuff. I'm literally the Dave Chappelle every res every you know daily reset. Yo, you got them cards, bro. All right, how much you got? <laughs> <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Like I'm going to him with, and that's why my legendary shards are always low because I'm always want cores on deck and I'm infusing and, and it sucks because my bygones is like a God roll. And I'm like, man, they gave me like a tier seven or a tier six. And I'm like, damn, I kind of want to see what happens when I master work this because it's, I can't stop using that gun for PVE. So yeah, like I'm like, this has to get master at some point because this is my clearly my best weapon. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not even, you know, it's just that that full auto, that rampage. It's it just melts. And I put a nice little mod on it. Man, my bygones is a problem. Like, so I gotta masterwork that eventually. So I use a core here, core there. When you're trying to infuse for armor, they want a core here to core there. You know, everything's a core. Next thing you know, you're like, damn, I got no cores again. Yep. You know? That's why I haven't done it yet, because I know I'm not even close to max, so it's like I'm not done. Yeah, no, you're smart. You probably you're doing it the right way. Me, I'm on that. I can't, like, I feel naked without, but this is my role, Martin. I feel naked without sleeper number one, <laughs> escalation Mission protocol. protocol. So your kinetics, you're pretty much your variety. My can every every we those three weapons. Every time there's a five to ten light jump bump, cores will be used. <laughs> I'm I'm not going into no encounter without those weapons, bro. I'm melting things. That's how I was surviving under leveled, because I had the escalation protocol shock. Anybody ran down on me, get out of here. Trench barrel, get out of here. Distance, yeah. any boss from the yellow bar, whatever sleeper, get out of here. Yeah. One so of four. four. So yeah. I'm playing like I'm playing like the peasants to get a real experience. Unlike you, <laughs> dumping all your saved up materials yeah. and using all your exotics. I'm playing yeah. like the the casuals, and I'm actually using your edge transits and stuff like that. Wow. You're playing like that. Yep. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I got a rocket launcher. But honestly, like my power weapon has been probably Whisper. I did get it up to 500, but I still haven't been infusing that one any. Basically, mm -hmm. mostly grenade launchers. I finally got a decent rocket launcher, Sleepless. It's not great, but it's a rocket launcher. Uh, yeah. Like 530. Um, oh, I got that one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Not a, great, not a great roll. Mine were yeah, trash. My so trash. Mm -hmm. I've been going... 
And it's just the same way. It's like, I've just been honestly playing with what it's given me. Like I got a misfit with like high impact reserves and dynamic sway reduction, light mag mm. and devil scope. So I've got like, man, I'm actually melting people in PVP with that one. I know you mentioned it and I was like, I finally got a chance to get a decent roll on it. So yes. I've been playing with what's there. And honestly, I kind of am enjoying the forced variety because it's playing can be played okay. with stuff. I it's don't making it, yeah, it makes yep. you a better player. Yeah. I, w- I was like that up until about once I hit, 500 because i wanted to raid so bad and i was like yeah well okay understand. i didn't raid so yeah okay. so you didn't raid. So that's what i'm trying to say like if you didn't raid you know you cannot come in there with that you can't come in there with that edge transit and that misfit those enemies will laugh at you <laughs> you light strong but even under low light with these crazy dps weapons so it was a must for me so i think yeah that definitely contributed to my core depletion and me going into my vault and then just like taking things out the ATM and breaking them. Down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. if I would have done a raid, obviously you got to dive in. I would have yeah. done it at least then. And I probably would have been mm-hmm. okay. But yeah, it's like if I had my set and I would dropped like, let me do one mod here, one mod here, one mod here. It's mm-hmm. like some of those, like it was even the rank and file. I love how they say rank and file rank enemies. File. Yes. They're like your red bars. And I'm like, just, just, why do you have to make it? People are like, well, I don't even know what that means. I'm like, yeah, because Bungie sometimes is like arbitrarily vague for no reason. For no reason. You have like Speaking bosses. Which, I don't and even majors. know where to put that mod in. I'm like, what? What use? What weapon would I use for that? I mean, what's your just what's your basic killer? That'd be a point where if I'm going, uh, I mean, okay, so I don't have it on that, but say like Huckleberries, I'm just mowing down little enemies. Literally, mm-hmm. whatever gun you're gonna use for that. What's your What's your kinetic gun you usually use? It's bygones. It's bygones or the uh, the one the, the 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 auto. So yeah. So if you go shotgun on the others, that might be your your major spec. Bygones maybe the other one. I mean something like that. But I mean that's Remember, your choice. Do you yeah, want I can't use those on exotics, and I can't use them on uh, season three weapons. So escalation protocol can't get it. Can't get a mod. Because- Nope. So then bygones, your new special fancy thing. Yeah, that's my number Put your one minor kinetic. spec in there. But see, I like what I have it now. I have a major spec because it's already, it rapes minor enemies already. Okay. So my thing is, let me just get this double. Like I'm killing shielded guys and yellow bars. Like, well, you know, the orange guys. Yeah. Not the yellow, see, the I don't know. I was like, see, then I don't know where you'd actually put that thing because. Yeah. I can't find a place. See, now I have a great role on a. On a on play of the game that's PVE pace is like Rampage Genesis or something or whatever I got on it, and that really does well with major spec. And I'm like, okay, you know, you want to hit a boss, you want to, you know, whatever. You know, I found like I just got I don't know where I'm gonna put. I'm thinking I might break minor specs down to be honest. I can't find a place for it right yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, because honestly, the if you're having issues with miners anyway, but, you're probably just mostly <laughs> under level. <laughs> well, you're probably just under leveled if that's really yeah. the struggle. So then, when it comes to, um, it actually makes sense. I because I haven't gotten into digging that, but yeah, major and or boss. Obviously, you got the big boys. You want to do more yeah. damage to them. Or go targeting for PvP or yep, increase magazine size. Like do targeting one on my, my go figure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I was like, just the little guys, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. That one might might that one might hang out in the vault for a while. So Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, all right. Yeah. We gotta let you get to sleep. So long point. Yeah. Hashtag long point. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Had an awesome one this week with everybody on both sides of chat. I don't know if I'll ever be able to smash the chat together, but yeah, we do this literally live on both uh, the Iron Lords podcast YouTube channel and Twitch TV. So if you bring up both, if you're able to, if you're on your phone, obviously that's not an option. But if you're chilling at a computer, you can have both chat windows open and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, we'll be back next week. Should be back to normal for a little while. Fridays yes, seem sir. to be at least standard mm-hmm. at the moment. Yes, I'm going to probably, I don't know if I'm going to get a nap in too. Feels like I might need one with you. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, enjoy the grind. Uh, for me, it's Ebontis everywhere. There you are, Snow. All right. Yeah, join the chat. Um, nice. I said to be late. Uh, but yeah, it's like it's Ebontis everywhere. Mm-hmm. So Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, subscribers keep going, guys. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I finally broke the 8,000 barrier with the giveaway and then just the consistent stuff. It's been going on. I just want to hit 10,000. That's been my goal for yeah. the longest time, 10,000 subs. So... I know the other people out there making bank on that stuff, but me, I'm just trying to get to 10. So spread the word, guys. Spread the love. Um, And shout out to Iron Lords Podcast, guys. Those guys have awesome fun. The leader of all intros. I was literally listening to you do Mooch's intro, and he was just like, dude, 
do you have those written down or <laughs> and it was like some of them you knew offhand but it's like whatever your guest is you do not feel worthy to this man's introduction so if nothing else the first five minutes of the podcast is worth every minute but yeah they always talk about great stuff they've had some awesome interviews recently so shout out to iron lord's podcast put them in your subs put them in your audio wherever it's at so much appreciated, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have so I have so much fun. We have a, a ball. Obviously, uh, this Sunday again will be the Lord's Day. No guests this week. Take a little break. Yeah. You know, it's gonna we're gonna get down to a couple you know, more topics and and break stuff down. We got a lot of PlayStation topics. It's gonna be fun. Please tune out. And then uh, I believe I, I won't spoil the next week. Yes, we'll save that for next Flashpoint. But hopefully, something mm-hmm. special will be coming after that. Nice. But um, yeah, man. And uh, obviously, you know. You know Twitter at Lord Cognito. Check us out there. Also, Iron Lord Podcast, man. Our uh, YouTube channel is here. Obviously, we do Flashpoint here, Combat Talk, all that other good stuff. And of course, the exclusivity deal with the one week Iron Lord Podcast episode at uh, actually at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Inner Circle Network. So we put our episodes up there. It'll be up there for a week and then they come over to the Iron Lord Podcast channel after that week. So think of it like as an exclusive deal, yeah. you know what I'm saying, as far as access. But yeah, we will be we're at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern during football season because a lot of people want to get their fantasy lineups together. Yeah. <laughs> so we got to respect that even the Lords must bend the knee to football. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, once football season, over, we go back to our normal time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check us out. 11 a.m. this Saturday, Sunday will be the Lord's Day. That's all I got. Flashpoint, we're going to be back on schedule. Shout out to the chat, man. Shout out also to Ebonzis' Twitch ch- our channel. Great chat over there. Great guys over there. Those guys were lively today. Shout out to ILP chat today. Really, really good engaging. And uh, man, it felt good, man. I missed you. Missed you guys. Missed talking with my man E. Having fun. Talking Destiny. It's back. It's in a good place. Life is good right now. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got. Just can't wait till you get a PC and you got to do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting when they announce cross progression. <laughs> yeah, that'll be that'll be the day, right? No, if you, get a, if you get a PC, I'm gonna drag you into it. So. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But like I said, if they got cross progression, then you got me because it's oh, like I can go back. So. And, oh, that'd, that'd be crazy. nice for a lot of people too. So. Yeah. Yeah, shout out Snaldo. Yeah, PC. Yeah, it's just how we roll over here. So my, my PlayStation's been uh, waiting for Spider Man, but unfortunately, it's still gonna keep waiting. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you. Awesome times, and yeah, we'll see you next week. And hopefully, I can go rescue my dog. Um, he's he's a sad face right now. I'm gonna go turn that front upside down. <laughs> yeah, get, get get the wolf some some help, man. All right, see you guys. Adios. Peace.